Oh my goodness. So many nerds in the chat. Hello, everybody. Hi. Good morning. How is everybody doing today? Y'all doing okay? Y'all alive? Y'all well? Nobody's dying, hopefully. Y'all good? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, that gives the same vibe of, of Squidward being like, Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, let me see who's been in the chat. I saw Miss Strange earlier. Hello, nerd. Uh, Grizz, hi. Good morning. Little Bean, hello. Koro, good morning. How are you all doing? Uh, good job, Strange, on getting first. Good job, Bean, on getting second, and good job, Grizz, on getting third. Uh, Tyron made, up, made the mistake of staying up late in VR chat. Oh no. VR chat's very addicting. I've, I haven't played much of it, but I'm, I'm kind of glad because I'm, I'm scared of playing any more of it. I feel like if I play too much of it, I'll just end up, like, not wanting to put it down. Um, but I do plan on, on getting into it at some point. Um, but uh, we're playing Kirby today, by the way, for anyone who didn't know. We're playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Um, a more comfy game. A more comfy, cozy game. I'm, I'm usually known for playing, like, really difficult games. Games with, like, more challenge to them. Um, but I decided to do something a little different now. Um... So yeah, that's kind of the uh, goal of today. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, you may or may not still be in bed. Oh, no, that's valid though. <laughs> I didn't want to get out of bed either today. I woke up this morning at like six in the morning because that's when I get up. I know I hate my life too. Um, I got up at six in the morning and I was like, I don't. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I want to go back to bed and let me go back to sleep. I'm sleepy. I'm sl I'm just the sleep. I'm just the sleep G little guy, you know. The fops Fopsy Opsy is tired. It needs his his bed by sleepy time. Um. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, there's a little there's, my coffin's behind me. I <laughs> I just woke up. You know what I mean? Um. Wasn't here for the debut. This is a. <laughs> got cursed i'm glad you weren't here for the debut everybody was t talking about feet in my chat for some reason no i know the reason i but that's that's to be on the uh only fans not, not here on the stream <laughs> um all right we're gonna go yeah eat be little bb <laughs> we're gonna go hop into uh kirby corby i i do got feet I do, in fact, have feet, but I, I will not share the feet on stream because of last reaction. Maybe I'll do it for my two year. Maybe maybe I'll do it for my two year. We'll, we'll see. Um, <laughs> let's move on over here. All right. That was totally a smooth transition. My computer totally had, a, had like a heart attack there. Oh, my God. All right. We're playing Corb. <laughs> Deezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, precisely. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little menace. That you, you should have known this by now. <laughs> Only Pharaohs. <laughs> I'd be on that. All right. Uh, this is totally fitting of a of a Kirby stream, 100. <laughs> percent uh, I'd probably the, be the most safe for work lewd ter lewd tuber if I if I did that. Um, I. Hmm. All right. Do I want to do this? Nah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um. Nah, nah, nah. I'm a Kirby expert. I, I've played a, myself a good amount of Kirby games. <laughs> Computer currently have a stroke. <laughs> James Bond having a strong. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my goodness, a little friend. 
A Kirby is a comfort. A Kirby is friend shaped. Who doesn't love a, a good good Kirby game? And oh, never mind. <laughs> ah, yes, the crisis, the god level conflict. <laughs> Me too, buddy. <laughs> that fucking face. Oh my gosh, it's a D? It's a do? Oh, he's gonna get launched. Goodbye! Kirby is a menace. We love Kirby. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Traffic cone? Yeah, Kirby, give me some wine now? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let's rewind that. What? <laughs> Grit. Grit, no. No, I know that was Bean. Bean. <laughs> Bean, you're being less little by the minute. Oh, my goodness. Bean, why would you ever say such a thing? Not mean sloppy from Kirby. I would worry about Kirby doing that. Oh, is that a crab? Oh, I could have eaten the crab. Oh my goodness, I got a shell. Can I swim? He's got, look at his little inner tube. Got a little inner tube. Oh, I hit a rock with another rock. Oh, oh. This is the most interesting start to a Kirby game right here. Let's go, buddy. Buddy old pal. Where are we going? Oh, coin. I don't know what the purpose of Kirby coin games, like what the purpose of Cur coins in Kirby is. I think it's just like supposed to be a memory of the past. Oh, more coins. Holy shit. Look at all these coins. Inhale. I know about inhaling. I've played Kirby games before. I don't need a tutorial. <gasps> Cherry. Oh my goodness. Checkpoint. This is so pretty. Why is this so pretty? I mean, squishy shape changing got that vacuum. <laughs> oh, I can see it. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate that. Thanks. Yes, getting the sloppy from an alien. Totally. Um. So, I have a comment about this. There's happy music going on, right? But does this mean that civilization is just, like... Is Kirby in a, a post-apocalyptic civilization right now? It looks like it. It looks like this is an abandoned city. Probably like New York or something. Tokyo, maybe. Um, and... Uh, some cataclysmic event... Caused... Caused all this. Look, okay, look, uh, we're not debating whether or not aliens are real here, because they are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have you not seen the Senate hearings about that? <laughs> They're pretty crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that a soda kit? Is that supposed to be Dr. Pepper? Couldn't be like a good soda. It had to be Dr. Pepper. I'm a Dr. Pepper hater. I'm sorry. I, I hate Dr. Pepper. Let me murder. Goodbye. Wee. Oh, is that an energy drink? Go. Give me that coin. Yeah, money. Oh my gosh, bomb. Give me your bombs. Give me your fucking money! Oh, it's like a bowling ball. Go! Hell yeah. 
I'm probably the worst person to be playing Kirby. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie about that. Uh, can I, can I, you want me to kill this guy for you? Apparently not. There we go. God. Uh, come here. There we go. Uh, anything over here? No. I must explore every opening. Yeah, Cowat. Bowling strike. I should play. I should play Wii Sports on stream. <laughs> I think playing Wii Sports on stream would be very funny. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I play Wii Sports on stream one day? D a disabled person playing Wii Sports on stream. A car. Oh no, why are they so fluffy looking? These are some next level graphics. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Kirby, no! What? <laughs> uh, huh? Kirby? <laughs> oh my god, it's Kirby! <laughs> I'm a fucking car. <laughs> vroom vroom mum's car. Oh god, I went in the wall. I am unstoppable. I will now hit every pedestrian. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> uh, can you imagine if this place was still populated and somebody saw this? Why does he look like that? Is he like driving this thing with his tongue? What is happening? This is scary. I don't like that he's just <laughs> hanging on to the car. And then also the car has two exhausts. Why does the car have two exhausts? What car needs two exhausts? What kind- what fucking car is this? Oh god. <laughs> GTA bitch, yeah, Vex. <laughs> I have yet to see his credentials. <laughs> Dr. Faker, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, really. Um... Ha! <sighs> Boom. I will hit everyone. Oh. I hate that it vrooms. What the fuck was the Kirby team on when they made this? What were they on? I need to know because I need some of it. What the fuck is this? Oh, I left some. Give. Give me. Also, how does this car have enough energy to just get up? Like, huh? Woo! Just do some sick wheelies. Oh. Oh! All that money! Excuse me. I've hit a checkpoint, but I want to, like, explore a bit more. Um... Is there anything down here? Oh, well, I found one. I have so many coins! Holy shit. Boom. 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 A bridge?! Wait a minute. Wait a- wait a minute. <gasps> what?! <laughs> Grand Theft Kirby facts. Oh, <laughs> it was a oh look at he's Jin. Oh, oh, this is great. I'm. Oh yeah.
This <laughs> this song slaps. <laughs> I didn't expect a, an anime opening here. Dude, that sounds like such a fun idea. Just oh my god, ducks! Corby watching the ducks cross the stream. <laughs> The fox is like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Vroom! <laughs> Where are we? What is this game? <laughs> This is not what I expected from Kirby. They did they they went hard on this game. Oh my goodness, a crow holding a, a waddle do hostage. <clears throat> Are those waddle dees or waddle doos? I don't remember. Oh, I just... Oh, I can just suck it back up. Carby! Um... Okay. I'm so used to jump being... B. I don't know from what game I'm used to jump being B, but I am. So playing, like, a, a Switch game is weird. Okay, those are Waddle Dees, thank you. I thought so. <laughs> Also, good morning, Jay. I hope you're having a, a good Saturday. My Saturday's going pretty well. Damn. They're really abducting these guys, aren't they? Oh, look at, those little, look at that little guy. Oh, you're so cute. You made the mistake of now. Oh, no. <laughs> Does that mean you're not going to be able to fall asleep later? You're going to be you're going to be up all night. He's sad. He's a sad little guy. Mini boss time. No, nah, this is easy. Yeah, this is this is a piece of cake. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Give me! God, that song every time gives me nostalgia. Nah, no, it'll be fine, but I feel like at Oh no! I hope you feel better. Go get, like, I don't know, some tea. Some mildly caffeinated tea might help. Woo, you saved me, but what about those other guys, the Waddle Dees? They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to. Yeah? I mean, I'm going that way anyway, I guess. I volunteer as tribute. What, you'll help me save everyone? That's great, yeah. So, your name is Kirby, and you are 100% going to be the villain by the end of this game. I'm Elphalyn. Nice to meet you. You are a villain! I am- I know how these games go. <laughs> I've played enough Kirby games to know you're the villain. First it was Magalore. No, 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 no. First it was, um... Sparks. That's who it was. And then it was Magalore, and now it's 100% gonna be you. The only- the only person I met in the beginning of the game that has not betrayed me was fucking Blobby in the first co-op Kirby. That was it. It was just Blobby. Just Blobby, who was two-player. Like, nah. Nah, nah, nah. I know how this is gonna go, Elphalyn. You're going to betray me. I am certain. Hey, Kirby. Yeah? Oh my gosh, hello? Caught with two players! I don't have a second player. I'm alone. I have no friends. Select play co-op from the pause menu to have player two control control ba 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 ba
work together by playing together. That, that nailed it. Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over planet Popstar too. It wasn't that just a wormhole? Wasn't that just like a black hole and or wormhole? Like, don't call it a vortex. We know what that is. I don't know. Maybe small children wouldn't know what that is. If you ever want a second player to join you, just let me know. I'll always be ready. I... Uh, can I jump on you? Yeah! Um, alright. I'm, I'm leaving you behind, my guy. Let's go! Whoosh! <clears throat> Natural planes. Downtown grassland. Oh my goodness, I've got free roam? Oh shit, free roam? Come on, Garber, let's go save those poor captured wildies. Nah, I'm free roaming. I didn't know I could free roam. Is this world one, technically? And here's the boss of world one. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. More money. It gave me, yeah, there. Um, and then that I imagine is world two, which I bet is like ocean themed. Yay, and more money. I bet this is a bonus area. I'm calling all the shots now. Mark me down. I'm got, I'm predicting everything. Is that supposed to be a casino? <laughs> that looks like a casino. I bet that's a shopping mall. Or it was a shopping mall. That's a shopping mall. That was a casino or a hotel. Nah, that was a hotel. Um, this is just a tunnel. Alright. We'll go to downtown Crassland. Save the three hidden waddledees. Uh, clear the stage. I don't know what the other ones are. We'll, we'll find out. Alright. Let's get on it. Uh, we gotta find secrets while we're at it. This leads me to believe that there's multiple paths. In this. Oh. I'm here. Oh, oh shit. Uh, you're coming a little too close there, buddy. I can just kick the bomb. Oh my goodness. Oh, make five tulips bloom. I bet. I'll make all the flowers bloom. All right, so keep an eye out for tulips, guys. Also, I want cutter. Give me cutter. I feel like cutter is going to be important here. It's just like cut grass ten times. Cutter! Yeah! Oh, money! Look at all that money. We like money, right? Um, I saw more grass somewhere. All right, guys, keep an eye out for tulips. That's that's our goal right now. Why is this game so pretty? There are so many Switch games that don't look good. All right, this is what we're keeping an eye out for here is this guy, this tulip guy. Yeah, you have two health. Oh my goodness. Hell yeah. Oh shit. My first hit. The first amount of damage I've ever taken in this game. And it was to a goddamn rabbit. <clears throat> Hop. 
button. <gasps> Cake! I feel like I'm gonna be trapped in here. This is a path. <gasps> the tulip! I found a tulip! Oh my gosh! Tulip! Tulip! Get out of here. Can of cola. I could become a fucking vending machine? Why? Oh my gosh, I'm a vending machine. Y'all, I'm a goddamn vending machine, and there is nothing you can do about it. Do you see this? Do you see this? I'm... Uh, now who's thirsty? Come get some! <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Okay, so... I can no longer be a vending machine. Oh, I need to kill you. The game doesn't want me to vending machine anymore, so I'm just gonna, like, spend the rest of my ammo. Um... Because I'm not- I'm not wasteful like that, you know? Um... Sold out. <laughs> Incredible. Um, now the question is, do I go up? I feel like I should. Or do I go off to the side? I feel like the side's more hidden, though. So maybe there's a tulip over there? Did I kill the bull? I did. There is, in fact, a star over here. Hmm. But this feels more hidden, so I feel like it's a secret. So let's let's take the star. Oh, he's so cute! Oh my goodness. Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> Goodbye, bomb boy. Boop. There, now you can't shoot shit. Come at me, foxy boy. Yay, you're trapped. All right, grab that. Oh my God, traffic cones. Can I become a traffic cone? <gasps> traffic cone! <laughs> God, <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, this is so good. This is amazing. <laughs> This game is immaculate. Look at the that! <laughs> oh, this game. It's- this game is a gem. Alright. Whoa! Those are Japanese pumpkins. Hmm, pumpkin. Hell yeah! Look at that! Three for one. Oh my goodness, more money! I don't think I went the right way, by the way. Hell yeah. <gasps> Tulip! Come here. Yeah! Three out of five tulips. I don't- I feel like I missed a tulip, though. Mm. 
Whoa! Whoa! I'm on the rooftops! Fiddler on the roof. More like Corby on the roof. Oh shit! No! I want the ketchup on! No! Gib. Yeah! <laughs> Gambling in my Kirby game? All right. All right, let's go. I, I'm living for these mini bosses. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. Come on. We almost got him. Hey, buddy. You know I'm faster than you? Yeah! Hell yeah! Sword! Gib. Hell yeah! Alright, that was one hidden Waddle Dee. So, that's a good sign. It's gonna... I thought we were at the end of the level. I was, I was really worried. Hell yeah. He just does his little swipe at me. Like, I can, I can take him down. I can, I can take this little, little blob down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Hell yeah! Two of the three! We save all the waddle dee. How much you want to bet one of them was on top of that building? Uh, that would suck. Oh my goodness! Turtle! How cute he is. He's playing Hungry Hungry Hippos, you know? You guys remember that game? It was a- it was a game, that's for sure. Um, what's up here? I see a tulip over there, so I will be going that way. Oh my gosh, is that a traffic cone? Oh, traffic cone Kirby strikes again. Murder! Oh. What? Whoa! Marble flying everywhere. It's just launching. <laughs> Donuts. Uh, well, okay, so I saved the, uh, D. I've saved the three Ds. Come here. And I found a tulip. Four out of five of the tulips. I'm missing one tulip. I love that I'm more focused on finding the tulips than the D's. I was like, I'll, I'll find the D's naturally, because I'm I'm amazing. <laughs> um, there's a there is a hidden entrance to this. I bet. I bet money. Um. Uh... No. Oh, a tulip. Did he charge off the edge? He did, in fact, charge off the edge. Like a good enemy should. Um. Feel like. Well, I found the tulips. Woo! Oh, God. Ah! Whoa! Wanna try that again, buddy? Oh 
Oh shit! Uh, don't mind me. I just, I went the wrong way. Like a dumbass. <laughs> Duxune Kirby! <laughs> I've heard of Duxune Miku. What about Duxune Kirby? <gasps> yeah! Come here! Yeah! Oh, nice! Okay, so... <laughs> we just 100%ed that level by accident. I didn't mean to. Oh, look at how cute that Kirby is! Aww. Kirby! Kirby was pulled into a mysterious vortex that appeared in the sky over his home on planet Popstar. When he woke up, he was in a new world. Traveling through that vortex also gave Kirby a new and mysterious power. Let's see what it can do. Onward to adventure! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Sir Kibble! I get no description for Sir Kibble. We get nothing for Sir Kibble. Kibble gets nothing. Through the tunnel. Oh, Waddle Dee is saved. Goodbye! Noise. Fighting the hidden Waddle Dees is going to get harder from here. Yeah, I know. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, your figure collection is now available. Use this to view all the figures you've collected. See if you can collect a full set. I will try. Four hidden waddle these on this stage. Other than the mission waddle these. Alright. Bet. Worst comes to worst, I'll just look up a guide. It's not a big deal. I've done it before on stream. <laughs> I am not ashamed to admit that I let other people do the work for me. Come here. Hell yeah. Grizz! Grizz! Grizz, do I have to put you in timeout? <laughs> I'll put you in timeout. I'm not afraid. There we go. Oh, bouncy guy. Kind of want to. Can I break that? Um. That sign ain't quitting anytime soon. <gasps> Money. Oh my. Oh, it's gonna be like this, isn't it? Oh, hello, Xandric. I think that's how you pronounce that. Welcome to the stream. We're, we're playing Kirby. I'm sure that's obvious, though. I have not played this game yet. I've played other Kirby games in the past. I'm not a stranger to Kirby games. I know how they go. Uh, however, this one is a new experience for me, and I'm having a good time. Uh... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Falls. I will let you know, I will make everyone in the chat's blood pressure spike because that is just how I play video games. Hey, yo! Come here. Uh, a button. Oh, no. Uh, oh. I found a, the secret room. Hell yeah. Oh, is that Flan? Mmm, Flan. Gib. Yeah! I sometimes call this Super Kirby Odyssey. Honestly, that's fair. It has the same vibe as uh, Mario Odyssey. I'll agree on that one. Ah! 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 <laughs> Falls every time. <laughs> I don't know if this game has limited Kirby jumps, though. Does it? Does Kirby eventually just, like, fall? I need to know, because other... Yeah, okay. Other Kirby games had that, so I just wanted to check to make sure that Kirby did, in fact, eventually lose steam and fall. Eh. Yeah, money! We're fucking rich! <laughs> it's like I only got 10 from that. <laughs> oh, light. 
Oh no, oh no. Oh, lantern switches, I bet. I like the music so much, it's so good. Reminds me of like old Kirby games, like really old school Kirby games. Kirby is like one of those games that I, I played a lot in like the the early 2000s and stuff. I got really into Kirby and then they like kind of slowed down on releasing games for a while there, which I didn't mind like because I really wasn't in the mindset to play Corb. But now I'm like, oh, Kirby, comfort game. Nice comfort game from, from younger years, more formative years of my life. Ah, oh, yes, more Gachapon! <laughs> Kirby Golf. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that... Isn't that an actual game, Kirby Golf? I don't know if somebody else... Uh, oh, sh hello. I got smacked. Uh, well... Egg and roast beef. Ew, egg and roast beef. Ah, ah. <laughs> Chaining. I am not used to the combo of A and B for fire Kirby. Shit. <laughs> um, it's funny because apparently there's an entire universe inside Kirby himself, so wouldn't he be able to draw oxygen from it? You would think so, right? You would think so. Cause yeah, I think that was that was a thing that was discussed. I don't remember where though. Like I can't I can't tell you the source because I don't remember the source. But I promise the source isn't I just made it up. I promise there's a source for that one. I just to hell if I remember the source about Kirby having an entire universe inside of him. I remember it possibly being mentioned in the show right back at ya. Great anime if you haven't seen it. Really funny. Hey, yo, another D. Death battle? Okay. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. I'm like, there's so many games. I don't remember where each nugget of Kirby lore comes from. I could tell you nugget of lore from for other games series, but Kirby? Nah, I couldn't tell you Kirby's. <laughs> Cause I love Kirby. Don't get me wrong. I, I adore Kirby, but Oh no! Well, that worked out, didn't it? Get in the- Yes! Let's go! Ascension! <laughs> uh, I saw- as soon as I saw the fuse, I was like, oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it just gave me a little platform. That's- that's sweet of it. Yeah. As soon as I saw that fuse, I was like, oh no, here we go again. I was like, it's flashbacks to struggling in two player for, um, what was the name of the game? Uh, the first Kirby game on Switch. Um, I forget the name of it though. Uh, Kirby, Kirby Star Allies, I think it was. Kirby bingo card. <laughs> mm. Oh god. Uh <laughs> this is immaculate. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah. And he's got a little fucker. Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> he fits so nicely in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Kirby, Kirby is just a baby eating the weirdest shit imaginable. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it worked. Oh, God. Okay, so I am... Okay, that I was worried about what that would be. I was like, oh, no. All right, let's swallow this again. <laughs> uh, I love that his scale is just fall over. <laughs> no Kirby's allowed. Do you see that slide? <laughs> oh, we ain't allowed to be be Kirby here. Can I can I burn it? Yeah. <laughs> Remove the wanted poster. No, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. We, we're, we're not doing this. Oh, wait, I should. I should. Okay, hold up. I should move the stairs before I light that. Yeah, so I can get up. That's Kermist. <laughs> who, who, uh, honestly, if you just like Kirby, you're a bad person. That's my take on it. Okay. All right, there. In. You can't hate him. He's so cute. Nice. Oh, I just cracked my neck. <laughs> they gave him what? <gasps> what did they give him, Kirby? <laughs> what in the? Wait, you want to say that again, Grace? <laughs> Grizz. Grizz. <laughs> Grizz. <laughs> Eat the stairs again. Okay. Well, I'm just afraid. <laughs> those are his- Yeah, those are his hands! <laughs> Grizz, those are his hands! <laughs> Those are his little tiny little fingies. <laughs> his little protrusions. <laughs> oh, we are. <laughs> I will never be allowed to set foot in Nintendo World like this. <laughs> God, y'all are so unhinged. <laughs> Oh, one fear. Get him here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they are his hands. I, they're his little nubs. Oh, I missed a lantern switch. Hey, yo, turtle. Tort, tort, tortil, tort. Uh. Tortilding, tortilding, tort, tort, tortilding. Um. Whoa, tortilding shell is a whole building. This big baddie, uh, might be some kind of boss for the smaller beasts. It enjoys basking in the sun, so it climbs into high spots, and claims the whole area as its territory. It must take a long time for this critter to get up there. Excuse me. <laughs> Cone mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire cone into <laughs> Pretty sure he could have done that anyway. <laughs> he could stuff an entire cone in his mouth. Use your pointy head to jab below you and burst open cracks in the ground or the on pipes. You're out of cone <laughs> You're out of cone troll, Kirby. <laughs> God this shit, this is Ceno levels of, of puns. Uh huh. What a great party trick, Kirby! <laughs> Alright. Let's try that again, because I missed one of the light switches. Which was my bad. I bet it was in the beginning. 
No, I'm gonna get that 10th D. Nah, nah, I'm unaccept- unacceptable. Hey, yo, two bonus levels? Qualities, you saved, found a new mysterious area. Treasure There could be rare items in there. Hop in and explore. Ooh. I'm going for it. But first, lantern switches. I will get the Ds. Let's go. I don't know where the, the other one is, though. So if you see a lantern switch, let me know. Because I'm blind. <laughs> I am blind as a bat. So I might not- Oh, there it is! Oh, <gasps> I see it. Okay, so that's where the last one was. Okay, cool. Never mind, I found the ball. <laughs> Come here. Get down. Me? Guys, help, help me find shit. Also, me finds it immediately. <laughs> <sighs> Nice. Come here. I was tempted to redeem the glasses. Redeem. Oh, no. You. The thing about glasses is that you wouldn't be able to tell that I'm not wearing glasses. It wouldn't show up. Like, my blink tracking would get better, but that's about it. <laughs> you guys wouldn't see anything different other than the fact my blink tracking would get better. All right. I can just roll around like this. Corb doesn't like that. Corb will remember that. Money! I know that there's no Waddle Dee in there, but I, w I want the money. Oh shit. <laughs> Gets hit immediately. All right. Um. Oh, food. <gasps> no. <laughs> there we go. Um. The fact Kirby is running into walls, dude. Okay. No, the, the Kirby running into wall, walls things, that's just me having really bad motor skills. <laughs> that's not even because I'm blind. I just I just have the worst motor skills out of any streamer, I swear. Yet I'm still cracked at Fortnite, apparently. God, that was insane. I don't know how I did that on Wednesday. Don't even ask. I, it'll never happen again. <laughs> Hey yo, another one. All right, smash that button. Gotcha, pwn. Torques through the ad. <laughs> oh man, that's the best thing anyone's ever said about an ad in my chat. <laughs> Tumbles out. <laughs> Immaculate, incredible, outstanding, even. Ugh. Y'all are bringing your A game, your A game comedy today. Anything special? What is causing these things to move? Why? Why are they moving? What is happening? Oh. Okay. Yay! Four switches! And now I want more gotcha pawn. I, I must gamble. I must loot box. Hey, yo, Onigiri. A rice ball. Have you guys ever had rice balls? They're really, really good. Oh, sorry. Jelly donuts. They're really, really good. <laughs> I like to think I'm funny, and then I'm not. I <laughs> I know I'm aware that I am the, the least funny person on Twitch, but... Uh, 
I make lighthearted jokes so it doesn't seem like I'm complaining about ads, just letting streamer know I'm in an ad for a bit. Totally fine. Feel free to let me know if you're in an ad, because sometimes Twitch doesn't like to tell me when ads are running, so I won't know. And they also won't run ads on the times I set for some reason. And if I pause ads, it still runs the ad, so it's like... I would love to know if you're in an ad. Because chances are, Twitch didn't tell me. God damn it. <laughs> Fall over. Take that. <clears throat> But yeah, no, feel free to tell me if you're in an ad. I don't mind. I like being known. I like I like being in the know. Have ads run at the start of each hour. Yeah, I have it set to that too, and yet it still doesn't care. <laughs> it still doesn't give a shit. It like will still run at random points. It's very, very annoying. I don't know why. I've, I'm going to workshop it more later, but I, as of right now, I have other things I need to work on to f make stream better, so I haven't gotten around to, like, troubleshooting it, but yeah, Twitch is very mean to me with ads. Sometimes it doesn't tell me when ads are coming, sometimes it does tell me when ads are going on, sometimes it runs ads at the times I have scheduled, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes half of my audience will be in an ad and then they'll get out and then immediately the other half of my audience will go into an ad and it's <sighs> Twitch Twitch is frustrating sometimes <laughs> not as frustrating as some other streaming platforms though, so It could be worse <laughs> I, I like to look on the bright side of things It's also why I'm not like too upset with people if they use things like ad blocker I get pennies on the dollar for ads, so, like, y'all can do that. I don't really care. I have ads enabled for people who want to watch them to support me. But otherwise, it's not enough for me to get, like, upset about people not watching ads. I'm just like, yeah, you do you. Not hurting me. Although, I wish they would stop running ads that... For things that I morally disagree with on my Twitch, please. That would be cool. I wish I could pick and choose which ads ran on my stream, but I can't. Because sometimes I'll get, like, ads for things that I'm like, I don't support. And I don't, I personally have boycotted for myself. So I don't want people thinking that I'm aligning with that. And that, ugh. Like, that's my one qualm that I have to say about ads. Oh, that's a lot of money! Hell yeah. Alright, let me check chat. Because I've missed... Um... I don't see it much, but I was all, ugh, through the Wizard Games ads. <laughs> yeah, no, that's like one of the ones that get promoted on my stream a lot. And I'm like, why? Um, Maxim Tomato. If your health is low, just eat a Maxim Tomato. Wasn't it? Didn't it used to be called Maximum Tomato? Now it's called a Maxim. That's weird. A Mandela Effect? Or am I, am I right? Um, they're packed with nutrients. <laughs> Did these fall through the same vortex as Kirby and his friends, or were they in the new world already? It's hard to tell, but everyone seems to enjoy them, even the beast pack. Um. Also, I hate Adland. Adland sucks. Um. Ooh, okay. Grizz, you mentioned you've made uh, uh, rice balls before. What's your favorite type of rice ball? Mine is either crab or fried shrimp. That, those are my favorite. Um, also, pickled plums are gross. <laughs> I'll agree. I'll agree. Um, um, 
Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to catch up with ads, but my ad box is really small. So I'm going to scroll on my phone instead. Um, let's see. Um, I have ads run at the start of each hour. Yeah. Twitch has lost the plot. Sometimes I'll watch the pre-rolls, then do a quick... Excuse me, quick pause, unpause to fix stream. And Twitch will punish me for that. Yeah, no, I've noticed that too. And it's super frustrating. Uh, and what sucks is if you turn off ads too as a streamer, Twitch will still run ads on your stream. It's just you won't get any AdSense for it. So it's like, might as well like run ads anyway, you know? Ramsey's kept... <laughs> sounding like he felt bad about the ads so I subbed I do feel bad about the ads because like if I could choose to not have ads on my stream at all I would but the thing is is that Twitch will run the ads regardless of what I do even if I choose not to run the ads because they were running ads on me even before I was affiliate uh, they've run ads on me for the first week that I was affiliate when I didn't have ads going and so I went fuck it if they're gonna run ads on my channel anyway might as well at least benefit from the ads so people know that they're watching the ads to support me, not just watching the ads to support the really rich Twitch corporate, you know? 20... <laughs> I always get the 20 years of having a vagina act. Oh my god. <laughs> Grizz. I keep seeing ads for Adobe. I don't know how to... Adobe. Adobe is mid. Don't worry about Adobe. Um... Bonito is so good. Oh, Bonito is so good. Um, barbecue tuna. Ooh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> the not be flat, so they made a curved pad. What the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> I hate that, thanks. Um, <laughs> I... The ad that I always see that people report to me are like the marine ads. Apparently a lot of marine ads run on my channel. And I kind of hate that because I'm not super big into that at all. Like, I, I don't really enjoy that at all. Because I don't believe in conflict like that. And I know people are like, oh, support the military. No, I don't want to. Thanks. No, thank you. They already have a lot of money. I don't want that. So I get really upset that ads like for those things run on my channel. I also got some, <laughs> some uh, not so great anti -LGBTQ, LGBTQ ads as well. And that pissed me off. Didn't like that. Especially since I'm an LGBTQ streamer, like, come on. This music slaps. Ah. Gib. Nice. Nice. Okay, I just went fuck those guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try this again. Okay, hold on. Um, <laughs> uh, gotta take the dog outside. Yes, go take the dog outside. That reminds me of a meme from with Sanji from One Piece in a grocery store. 
spending care aisle. Texting someone on a period saying, what's... <laughs> oh, that's so good. He would, though. <laughs> I've been in basic training for National Guard when I was 18. Hated it. Got out as soon as I could. I, yeah, no, like, not, not cool. Not cool. I don't like it. I and I won't get too in depth on why I'm not supportive of organizations like that or government organizations like that. Um, but I will keep that off channel for now. Give me I'm trying this again. <laughs> uh, but if if that's something you guys want to hear me spew about, I will spew about it. But otherwise, I will refrain because I don't really care. I will talk about any topics that my chat is comfortable with talking about um, for the most part, but just know that there are a bunch of ads that run on my channel for things I don't support and would never support. So if you see a questionable ad on my channel, know that I t t probably don't support it because um, some people will get it in their heads that I do because the ad is running on my channel and it's like, no. Twitch chooses what they think my viewers like for some fucking reason. And apparently, bigotry is what Twitch thinks my viewers like. Nice. Teleport. Snatch. I think I think I did it that time. Um. No. <laughs> I will get it. I promise. I just have to shave two more seconds off. God damn it. <laughs> Thirteen thirty seven. Yes, it was. I saw that. Come here. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Snatch. Take me away! This music makes me think of uh, the gym battles in Pokemon Sword and Shield. As weird as that sounds, it has the same, like, overall vibe, you know? Do, do, do. Ascension. Okay, I think I did it. I think I did it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Hell yeah. We made it! Okay. Um... Okay, let's try the 30... 30 seconds? Huh? I'm not a Pokemon guy, but the Team Star Grunt Battle from Scarlet Violet is a hot track. Agreed? Oh, I see how this is supposed to go. All right, hold up. I know how this is supposed to go. It's me, Kirby. God, I hate that things. Not me missing. No. Yeah.
Oh, I don't know if I made this. Snatch! Ah, oh, it's so close. What if aside from the hat, Kirby also got the nose and stash when he swallowed Mario Luigi? <laughs> I, Kirby with the mustache sounds hilarious. A Corby stash, if you will. All right. I'm gonna try that again. I kind of have an idea of how this is going, so. Misses. Nice. Oh my gosh, hi, Perito. Yeah, it is the newest Kirby, actually. Kirby in the Forgotten Lands. It's really fun. Very cute. Good morning, Perito. How are you today? You vibing? You feeling good? Having a good morning? Hopefully you had some breakfast. Also, what did everybody have for breakfast today? I'm curious. I had a bagel. I don't think I made it. Uh, I'm trying to beat this in 30 seconds. Um. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> why, why are y'all being so cursed in the chat today? Oh my goodness. Who, who spiked your coffee? <laughs> I'm grumpy, but getting better. I had a breakfast burrito. Ooh, what was in the breakfast burrito? Burrito had a breakfast burrito? Shoom. This is the part that gets me. Yeah, I, I ran out of time. <laughs> Mini pretzels, dipping them in seasoned avocado. Holy shit, what? Y'all must be rich, cause avocado is expensive. <laughs> at least it is where I'm at. Sounds good though. Pepperoni Hot Pockets? What kind of bright wait, hold on, we're talking about breakfast, right? <laughs> okay, hold on, let me scroll up and see what the hell is going on. Um... Uh... Also, I'm doing well. I'm- I'm vibing. I'm waking up. My hips are a little sore, but otherwise I'm okay. I'm- I'm- I'm awake. I'm moving. I have some coffee that I need to stir up before I drink it, but I have it. It's pumpkin spice. I'm very excited. Um... Jimmy Dean sausage, egg, and biscuit. I've never had that. I also don't like sausage, but that sounds really good regardless. Um, if it was bacon, I'd like it a little more. Um, mini pretzels, dipping them in seasoned avocado mash. Again, avocados are really expensive, but that sounds delicious. Uh, burrito loves burritos. I mean, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Leftover carnitas, eggs, hash browns. Ooh, sounds fancy. Pepperoni hot pocket and lace chips with orange juice. A perfect breakfast, totally balanced. Um... My Dominican neighbor has an avocado tree. That's dope as hell. Oh, that's so cool. Um, that's so sweet. On the West Coast, avocados are trash fruit in some parts of California. I used to steal them from my neighbor's yard. That's so neat, though. Like, over here on the East Coast, it's fucking expensive. 
Um, no, my hips don't lie. My hips have never lied. I'm going to come back and do this later. I don't feel like doing it now. <laughs> um, have you had STOK's pumpkin creamed cold brew coffee? I haven't, but now I have to try it. Um, that's yeah, they're so expensive here. I have a farmer's market nearby that sells them. And they're fairly cheap there, but still expensive when compared to California. I'm just going to drink the rest of my drink. Sorry if my model wakes out. All right. It is officially pumpkin coffee season. I agree, burrito. Ugh. Although I'll eat, I'll, I'll drink pumpkin coffee at any time of year. I just like the flavor of pumpkin. Um, anybody who's new will learn very quickly that I just really, really, really like pumpkin, period. Like, I always talk about what I do in October when the pumpkin harvest starts. I get pumpkins. I'll try to go pumpkin picking if I can, but if I can't, then I'll just like pick, I'll go uh, buy pumpkins from like a farmer's market or something. And I'll get like a bunch for me and my friends to carve and we'll carve them after like, oh wait, gun? Kirby gun? Yes, Kirby gun! Kirby's got a fucking Glock! <laughs> Blanket? No. Give me my Glock back. Um. But now what I'll do is I'll take pumpkin. I'll carve it. I'll gut it. Um, and then I will separate the seeds from the, from the, um, pulp from the guts and then what I'll do is I'll season the seeds on a baking sheet and make roasted pumpkin seeds um usually with like cinnamon nutmeg all that good stuff on it um I can't can I can I shoot up Let's see. Hold on. Yeah! Okay. So I'll um, season the seeds with like nutmeg and stuff and cinnamon and sugar and then I'll bake them. And then what I'll do is I will put them in the oven, bake them, and then just send them out like that. Then I'll take the pulp, grind it up into like um, puree. And then turn that into pumpkin bread, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin everything, pretty much. Because I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a bitch for pumpkin. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm a pumpkin, pumpkin spice whore. I don't know. That's just, that's just how it be. Oh, hello. Find the side road. So yeah, that's what I do. I I don't I'm just not like a pumpkin spice menace. No, I, I'm a pumpkin menace. I I prefer being called the pumpkin menace because just pumpkin in general. <laughs> Any if it's pumpkin flavored, I'll 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 eat it, probably. Same with strawberries though. Like I'm the same way with strawberries. I do also really love strawberries. I'll, after washing them off, I'll eat a strawberry straight off the ground. I swear. <laughs> yeah, Ramsey's the pumpkin menace fact. Just wait until you see the new overlay design I'm working on right now. <laughs> it fits very well. To say the least. <laughs> I 
Is that a Macron? Ooh, I love Macron. You could tell I took French. <laughs> Woo! Alright, let me check chat real quick. Um... All right, let me look at, uh, chat. Um, for a large PSL at Starbucks, you could get a whole bunch of... Ooh, I'll have to try it. Thank you. Thank you, Xandric. I will 100% look into that. I also want to try uh, Bones' pumpkin pecan coffee, because Bones' coffee is low acid. Which, it sounds weird to say that, but, like, for somebody with GERD, like myself, that's really good. I drink coffee, though, even though I have GERD. I swear. Um, some people with GERD, like myself, are just like, fuck it, I'll eat spicy food. I'll eat stuff that makes my stomach acid go crazy. I don't care. That's the same energy as lactose intolerant people chugging a whole, like, two gallons of milk because they can. <laughs> I don't particularly like pumpkin spice. That's totally fine. I think we had a discussion about that, Burrito. Uh, Kirby Gun! <laughs> yes. Kirby, I keep that motherfucking thing on me. <laughs> um, yes, roasted pumpkin seeds are over uh, are underrated. They need to they need to be more enjoyed. Salt and pepper the seeds. Ooh, that's good. I'll try that this year. Um, I do not. I like fall because it's pecan season. I see. I I like pecan flavoring. I can't eat an actual pecan because um, pecan is to uh how do i describe pecans uh they have like this like um kind of waxy out exterior to them and because of that i just i can't eat them <laughs> it's an autism thing i swear <laughs> i'm like nah the texture too bad i can't i can't enjoy it <laughs> um yeah pumpkin spice is not real pumpkin see like that's the thing <laughs> Um, pumpkin bread is so good. Um, thank you. Whatever mod cleared that, that was me. <laughs> I cleared that. I saw that. Sorry. Um, I might have to revoke your basic bitch card. <laughs> Lactose intolerant putting cheese on everything couldn't be, <laughs> couldn't be me. See, like, I'm only, I'm not severely lactose intolerant. Just lactose makes my GERD act up. Dairy makes my GERD act up as a whole. Uh, so for me, I, I, I'm grateful that I'm not lactose intolerant because I fear what I would be like if I was. And also, I like ice cream too much. Um, uh, also, yes, good morning, Manager Leon. Good morning. Uh, you just woke up. <laughs> Yeah, they do leave a weird coating. I don't like them. They feel waxy. Uh, however, that doesn't mean I don't like other, like, tree nuts like that. I know what Chris is gonna say, because I said the word nut. Then fuck off. <laughs> Here, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you, Grizz. You don't, you don't have to do it. I got it. Hold on. Let me just... I got this. I know what you're gonna do. So, let me... <laughs> let me just... I'll do it for you. Just hold on. I know what you're gonna do, so here. Cause I said the word nut. Nut. There. There. I <laughs> The Foxo is very tired. Oh he my gosh, sleepy. it's me. The Foxo has had a very long day of swiping eggies and wants to take just a small sleep. He E B and me bees to sleepy. sleepy. Funk sleepy Fonk and need bed by time. By time. <laughs> the Fops is currently experiencing critical levels of being asleep. Also, you hell yeah, strange. I'm so glad your model is, is done. Have you sleep. tested it and just gotten the files and stuff set up? If Funk not, I can walk you through how to set up live TV. Just a little guy. I don't mind. Foxo um, Oxo Omps needs his beady sleep. Look at him go. Uh, he on big because he's sleepy. I rolled the dice with my dairy consumption. Sometimes it pays off. He's like, good night, Mr. Father of Law, cursing the gods. <laughs> the gods probably looking down at you with shame. Um, it has been tested. Awesome. Did you calibrate? Did you get the files and calibrate them on your side as well? Um, because the last thing you want to do is like start stream and then it like look horrible because <laughs> everyone's computer is different. Um, Chris is a bully. That's why I had to play the nut sound for them. <laughs> yeah. 
Grizz and Little Bean, they're, they're, they've been, they've been bullies of chat. <laughs> it's been great, though. Eat snacks off, that was a, that, I, I wouldn't call milk uh, a snack. Hell yeah. <gasps> Yeah! Hot dog? That's a very low poly hot dog. Now I want hot dogs. What? This game. Mmm. <laughs> hot dog. Labor Day is coming up, by the way. I don't really celebrate it, but does anybody here celebrate it? I don't really care for it. But I, I was curious to know if anyone uh, was planning anything like any cookouts or anything because i know that's a thing that happens a lot for us viewers of mine carby i'm tokyo drifting guys deja vu i just been in this place before look at him go Pedal to the metal. He's schmoovin'. He's schmoovin' and groovin'. <laughs> Hits the wall head first. Gives Kirby a fucking concussion. Waddle Dee! Kirby wiggles his little arms that are the mirror. <laughs> Try without falling off the edge. Hell yeah. <gasps> A gotcha bone. Hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that. No longer am I a car. Brim, 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 brim's car. Um. Uh, wait, what's happening in the chat? Yes, yes, calibration done. Awesome. I don't intend to make it a big thing, so it may be tonight or tomorrow in the day I use it. That's totally fine. Yes, Miss Strange is getting a new model. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a really cute one. Um, <laughs> low poly hot dog. We love low poly hot dogs. Um, it has been revealed. It's very nice. He zooming. He grooving. See, those are arms. <laughs> Stare. <laughs> B doesn't have arms. I love his little dance. So cute. Kirby is such a comfort game until Grizz ruins it. <laughs> Radio! Blue Star! Alright. A trip to uh, Al Alavel Mall? Alavel? Get out of here, you waddledees! Oh no. Oh no. Which one are you? Ooh. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Found a portal to a treasure road. Excuse me, not vending mouth. No. I want to try bomb again. I want to try bomb again. I just try bomb in between every level. <laughs> Stan Kirby does not have titties. There is little hand nubs. You just have a dirty mind, Grizz. <laughs> but he, no, he does not. <laughs> Your mind is just in the gutter constantly, Grizz. <laughs> Oh, 
You got gutter brain. Oh, fuck me. Oh, so close. His little hands are close to his little face. <laughs> I don't think hand nubs and titties are the same thing. <laughs> One is meant to grip things, and the other one... I will not continue with that thought. <laughs> I will not. I will stop right there. I will stop right there. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to finish what I was going to say. <laughs> Kirby doesn't have fingers, you're right, but he does have grippies. He does grip things. Oh no! Uh... Boo! I'm so close! <laughs> I am so close! <laughs> what do you mean? Kirby <laughs> walks around with fully detailed hands. I cry. Have you ever seen pictures of Kirby with like fully drawn out hands? Cause they're terrifying. He literally held a gun. Is this it? Yes! Yes! I finally did it! Hell yeah! Ugh! That was so difficult for no reason whatsoever. That did not need to be as difficult as it was. Um... Where am I going? Here? Bending mouth? Um... <laughs> when I see Kirby pick something up with his testicles, I will admit I'm wrong! <laughs> I hate that, thanks. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think that maybe you're confused about boobs, Chris. I think Chris is confused about what boobs are. Kirby doesn't have fingers. Did they add fingers? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Kirby walks up with fully detailed hands. You cry. <laughs> That's what you do. You cry. Uh, Kirby has like mitten grippiest. <laughs> Read that goal. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I do not like that. He literally just had a gun. He did have a gun. <laughs> um, Like the ultra-realistic Pokemon. Alright, sometimes the ultra-realistic Pokemon are fine. Other times, though, they're less than fine. They're more like nightmare fuel. And that's when we have problems. Me trying to adjust in my chair because I'm uncomfortable. All right, so really quick, it's time for me to stir my coffee. The ice has melted enough that I can now stir this coffee and drink it, so. Mm. Yeah. Comfy. Mmm, don't you just love when there's sugar collected at the bottom of your coffee?
What's your favorite dinner food? Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm I'm getting there. It's incorporating. You just gotta give me a second. Just stare at Kirby at this vending machine form. Ah! Don't mind me making a mess because my hands decided that they wanted to twitch uncontrollably. Don't fall! Don't do that. That would be less than ideal. Okay. Okay, but you cannot tell me that Ash's mom is not fucking that Mr. Mime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to say it because I genuinely, like, there's no other way. She's either fa fucking Professor Oak or Mr. Mime. Like, period. Full stop. Full hardcore stop. That is all. It's one of the two, and I don't like either option. Either, either she's into dilfs or like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do the vending machine. <sighs> I have the sniffles. I don't know why. Mofo. Nice. Do I have to get the other ones too? Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm just like shooting shit. I don't know if I got that. So close! <laughs> I could one hundred percent save shave time off of that one. I could fix that. <laughs> Either she's fucking Mister Oak or Mister Vibe. Oh, <laughs> Ramsey's <laughs> context. I need to make like a starboard in my server for Ram. I need to make a chat in my server for everyone to just post Ramsey's out of context. We don't talk about it. Amazing what removing one word will do. <laughs> Watching an anime like this dude gets isekai and reincarnates as a vending machine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> except for you, Grizz, you would also want want him to have little uh, nubs when he swallows stairs. Because apparently that that's your taste, Gris. <laughs> Come on, hit the ice, C Corby. Thank you. Go, we got this, Corb.
We got this. <laughs> Bunny hopping to the end. <laughs> I don't know if I made that. <gasps> no! God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I'm done. <laughs> no! no! What would they be made out of? Lay's potato chips? Doritos, maybe? <laughs> they, they just straight up look like Tomb Raider nubs, like some some triangles. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, hello there. I don't know who said hello there. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of a challenge. Give me a sec. Oh, hello, David. How are you? We're playing Corb. We're talking about Corby's nubs, apparently. Because that's a thing we got to talk about. Thanks, Grace. We're gonna try this again. <laughs> what socks in sandals? No! Why would you ever do that? Okay, first off, socks and sandals, fashion crime, right there. That's that right there is already a sin in my book. Second off, wet socks and sandals? Even worse. Even worse, David, what were you thinking? <laughs> What were you thinking? What was... Why? <laughs> why would you do this to yourself and others? <laughs> oh, Manager Leon finally spent their points. Come on, we got this. What the fuck happened there? Corby got taken to the fucking back rooms. Ugh. Did we make it? No, that one was even slower. Socks and Crocs? What? <laughs> Oh no, I spent 50 points on my 65k! <laughs> Cursed. Okay, I like the rain, but socks in the rain sounds like an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I think I'd cry. Can I stop taking damage, please, and thank you? Send me back. Yay. Go, 
Corp! Go! Yes! Record time! Hell yeah! We did it! Squishky. <laughs> Squishky. You like Squishky? Uh, I am the bad guy, and I love being a bad guy to the fashion police with socks and sandals walking around in the city fearlessly. At least you're, at least, at least, at least you have that goal. <laughs> at least you're proud of it. All right, fire corb. I'm just doing a bunch of uh, challenges at this point. Oh, it's just cannon match, isn't it? Oh boy! Time to uh, remember what Kirby Superstar Ultra taught me, which was to only hit what is absolutely necessary. And not worry about anything else. Wait, I'm gonna put on a man bun and don a fedora! Oof! That one's a yikes! Now, I'm no fashionista, but... Blah. Be unashamed, bestie! <laughs> Don't forget the control wall! Khakis and anime shirt, socks and sandals, and a trench coat. That sounds... That sounds just uncomfortable. Okay, man buns sound uncomfortable. I'm sorry, buns are uncomfortable. I hate to think about man buns. Those things are tight. Every time. <clears throat> Can't disgrace Sensei Madu. <laughs> Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> All right. I think I've gotten. Let's let's check on our Waddledees. Let's check on Waddledee Town. Laughs and shaving head. Hey, hey. I've I've also contemplated shaving my head and just wearing a wig, to be quite frank. Yay, they were building their town. Although apparently the first building they decided to build was the theater. For some reason. Watch some memorable scenes on the big screen. I have wait. I might have just not recognizing the name. Because that's happened before where I've seen something and then just like not recognize the name, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Because I'm also just really bad at names. If you didn't know, I'm terrible at names. Alright, there's Waddle Do Cinema. No wig, just fuzzy. Yeah? <laughs> he does the entire caricature. Oh my goodness! That's, that's fun. Um, shaving your head is so freeing. I will try it 100%. I don't like my hair, period. <laughs> I don't like it. It's too thick. It's too long. It's uncomfortable. Um... Hey! Okay, but that doesn't seem too bad, actually. <laughs> That's just called a, a pan seared over here. Just put it on the pan for like a couple seconds and then like laying it on rice. It's just called a pan sear, where you just cook the outside, barely. I wouldn't call that a rule to break, more like something uncomfortable, because, I don't know. It just seems uncomfortable to put it back on the rice, especially if the rice is cold. I hope the rice is warm. Ugh. Cold rice is kind of gross, though. <laughs> I don't like cold rice, unless it's a rice ball. Yeah, pants here. Weird names in all different parts of the world. 
Um, down to demanding tendies from his mother, drinking Mountain Dew and calling God around his finest friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh my goodness, Kirby goes shopping and assaults other shoppers. I don't like this camera angle though. This is, oh, this is, I don't like this, this disorienting. <laughs> Forb. Uh, by the way, for those who are curious about stream plan, because you probably are seeing the time, and you know when I take my stream breaks, it's usually at like two hours in. Um, for those curious, I will probably uh, take a break after World 1. So just a heads up for anybody who is curious, like, oh, ramsey has been going for a while. Why hasn't he taken his break? Um, I will take it after World 1. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, you're still alive? How about you stop being alive? Hell yeah! Break those boxes. Ah shit! Ah shit, here we go again. <gasps> Donut! Gotcha, Bon! Um, Kerbis Fred. <laughs> uh. Oh! Totally valid, though, with the sweaty hair. That's just annoying. I'm in the same same boat there. Um. Mm, okay, but like now I want chicken tendies. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um. Right, <laughs> at least three. <laughs> Oh no, 30 seconds left till the ad's over from what I see. Uh mm, stir fried rice. Mmm. Oh candy. God, I love the music for this. Hell yeah. Why did that guitar go so hard? What the fuck? Um, my hair is long enough that it is an active threat for just sitting down mindlessly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. And also, your hair gets really knotted very quickly, Leon. Like, just as a, a rule of thumb. Are y'all protecting the lockers? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me... Ugh. Locker, Kirby! Alright. Um. Burger. So go in the burger. The burger area. <gasps> there, I'm ruining their date. I'm sorry. Yeah, Waddle D. 
All right. I'll leave those two to their date. They can keep their date. Those guys can have their date. The other, the other, the other guys, they don't get a date. Your hair is very thick and it also gets into everything. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's the ice dude. Hey, buddy, can you, like, not? I'm just gonna keep stabbing you. There. Gib. Hell yeah, Ice Kirby. Ice Kirby is one of my favorites, because look at him go. Ice pop. <gasps> Food. Oh my gosh, is that a whole roasted chicken? Mm, roasted chicken. God, can this game not make me hungry, please? <laughs> What is the point of coming up here? Hmm. I don't know. Chicken's so good! Ah, shit. Gotcha, Pawn! Alright, I think that's it from there. <gasps> hey, little frosty guy! Oh, shit. Uh, I'll leave him. Eh. Go, Curb! <gasps> no! No! Oh! <laughs> I thought he was gonna drop him over the spikes! <laughs> I was like, no! 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 <laughs> Alright, what the fuck is going on in chat? <laughs> um... See your arms on the side! Shush! Shush, Grizz! <laughs> Uh No, yeah, don't snap kick cats. Just eat them like a straight bar of chocolate. <laughs> God, I love eating it like that cuz then people look at me and they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I'm like, "I don't know, eating chocolate. What do you want?" <laughs> um Power slides out of the tunnel. Welcome back, Sandrick. Um Sit there and starve? <laughs> I did steal their food, but that's okay. They can find more. It's fine. They're little, little, little guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, the feel of long hair sucks. Rotisser. Every time I think of uh, rotisserie chicken, I think of hairless cats. Because they straight up look like rotisserie chickens. Rotisserie chickens. Um... Imagine eating Kit Kat. Dude, you're allergic to chocolate. Shut up. Shut up, girl. You're allergic to chocolate. Brioche, hi! Kit Kats are amazing. Yeah, see? See, Brioche knows, Brioche knows facts.
<laughs> yeah, I don't care about snapping Kit Kats. I'll just <laughs> eat the Kit Kat straight. Sometimes I like to snap it because it's easier to eat it in bite-sized bits, like if my jaw hurts, but otherwise I don't snap them. I just, I just kind of eat them. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So turn left at the cake. Got it. Kirby, stop making that noise. It's uncomfortable. I don't like that noise, Kirby. Is that a computer? Are those fucking computers? Look at how old those computers are! Oh my god. Were you man in the security cameras, my guy? Ice cream. So at the turn left at cake, between cake and ice cream. So back cake. We're going to back cake, guys. This is one hella fancy shopping mall, but at the same time, this shopping mall has really outdated tech. Which is weird, because most shopping malls don't even have like the, the walking roads. Hey, sit back in your seat, buddy. Freed! I found the last hidden Waddle Dee. Money. Money. Another donut! I've eaten two donuts. I know I've missed three more. But I don't know where the others are. They're probably in the other, uh... Other rooms, to be honest. Ah, shit. <laughs> Reese's are so good! I'm a slut for sweets. Me too. Um, yeah, the one kick out bar, just swallow it whole. How do I get up there? Uh, navigate them all without getting lost. Hell yeah. Are you about to shoot me over a goddamn donut, my guy? My dude. Home slice, bread slice. Cup, ke yes, give me the donut. I've gotten three out of four donuts. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I bet the last donut was on that conveyor area. Hell yeah, I just have to eat the one last donut. That's the bull guy. Behold, it's the brutal, brutish Buffahorn. Weak attacks won't stand a chance against this critter's forward tackle. Good thing they have a hard time stopping. If you're careful, you could trick them into running off of cliffs. They'll be okay down there. They're real tough. Cannon. <gasps> Bomb Kirby. Hold down the button to aim and throw. Got it? Hold, aim, throw. Throw, hit, boom. You can run and throw them too, or roll them ahead of you to get an explosive strike. Like a bowling ball. Um. You want cake? Uh, cake sounds really good right now. <laughs> There's a chocolate cake in the kitchen. And I want it. The cho It's a devil's food cake. And I want it. <laughs> it's, it's like marshmallow icing. I want it so bad. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, let me see what's being said in chat real quick. Um, mm, deep fried drumsticks. Uh, 
Brioche is also tasty. <laughs> um, I can't get. Oh, tell me how your scan goes, by the way, because I've been I've been thinking of you. I, I hope you're doing well, Brioche. Uh, we need to chat more. I need to catch up with you. Shut the fuck up, Grizz Waddledees. I'm gonna fucking punt you. <laughs> um. In the ER, CT scan of my stomach, alert to contrast, so getting rid of me for that first. It's 1 a.m. God, that's early. Go, you, you are upside down. Yeah, you're in upside down land. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> please, <laughs> please take care of yourself and get some rest when you can. Um, uh, to be fair, uh, you're dodging a bullet with artificial sweeteners because a lot of them are fucking nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Um, wait, corn in ice cream? Like corn on the cob? Like corn the vegetable in ice cream? Oh, hello, Apollo. Hello, Apollo. Hello, kitty. Oh. <laughs> he said, I'm about to fall. I'm about to die. Okay, that's kind of... I don't like that at all. <laughs> so you don't have corn in ice cream cake. Is that what I'm hearing? You, in fact, do not have corn in ice cream cake. Because that would just be a carnal sin right there. Sweet corn seeds. Okay. Okay. That's a little better. That's a little better. I've never had sweet corn seeds, but like it can't. It's better than just straight up corn on the cob <laughs> in, in a fucking cake. <laughs> like that is that's a little better. <laughs> uh, I was terrified for a second. I was like, oh, my gosh, do I have a serial killer in my chat? <laughs> oh, I was scared. I was scared. I, I feared for my life. <laughs> <laughs> Gen genuinely had me had me frightened there for a second there, David. I was I was the big spooked. <laughs> uh, okay, but like, I, am I okay? This is gonna sound weird, but like, I actually don't like cake that much. Fun fact: like, I actually kind of hate cake. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, I kind of want the devil's food cake that's in the other room. Uh, but I normally I'm actually like not big into cake. I actually don't like cake. Is anyone else with me on that one? Not liking cake? Any of my fellow cake haters in the chat? Like, I don't hate cake. That's the thing. Like, I don't hate cake. I kind of have, like, a little bit of it, but it's too much for me all at once, you know? It's, like, too sweet, too thick. To a lot of things. I'll eat icing for days though. Like I'll just eat straight up icing. <laughs> Alright, I got one donut. Got a gotcha pawn. Um Um Okay, no, not that cake. I love that cake. I'll I'll eat that cake all the time. <laughs> nah, that cake. That cake is something. <laughs> See, this is why I'm very adamant that my streams are like not for minor. <laughs> Uh, cause I'll say shit like that. I- I want to make it very clear, I don't hate miners. They just- they just make me mildly uncomfortable when they're in my streams. 
So I try to avoid having minors in my chat. Because it's it feels creepy to me for somebody who is way over the age of 18 like I am to have um, kids watch their stuff. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. I don't know. It just feels uncomfortable. I don't... I don't like that idea. I feel kind of gross. <laughs> um, making content. The idea of making content for children feels gross. I don't know. It just it just makes me uncomfortable. So if you're ever wondering why I'm like, hey, I'm an 18 plus streamer, that's why. It's because the idea of making content for children grosses me out. I don't, it just makes me uncomfortable. And also I don't like the idea of the responsibility of babysitting another person's kids like because that's how people treat content creators they like essentially go on about how oh uh you should make content for children children could be watching i uh, how dare you uh make content that isn't suitable for kids and yada 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 babysit my children for me essentially like oh you watch my kids for me because i don't i'm too lazy to watch them and it's like uh, no i no that's not my job i don't i don't make content for kids thanks I don't want to make content for kids. Thanks. I don't have an interest in that. Thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. Um, so yeah, if you're ever wondering what, why I steal your foods for your dates, you're welcome. If you're ever wondering why I have my stuff set to like 18 plus mature, that's, that's why. It's because I'm like, I'm not babysitting your children. Um, but back to the original topic. I, I don't like cake. <laughs> That's where this all started. This all started with me being like, I fucking hate cake. <laughs> I don't even hate cake. It's just, it's too much for me. Oh God. Who's meowing? Oh, it's Penelope. Come here. Yeah! Back to ice. Uh, what have you guys been saying? Also, ew, artificial sweetener. Yucky. Just get some sugar or honey. God, it's not hard. Um... If you need like something liquid, you can literally make syrup. It's not hard. Oh my gosh, hi chat Nibus. Hello. Um I've never had lavender honeycomb ice cream. I'm very curious. Um Oh, is corn really considered like like sweet corn considered dessert in some places? I didn't even know that. Um Mmm, cake. Uh, <laughs> Ramses eats ass confirmed. I mean, I will not confirm nor deny. Um, it's 18 plus because they're talking about Kirby titties. <laughs> uh, they're nubs. They're his hands. I promise. They're his hands. They're not titties. <laughs> um, and you'll get those troll kids going, hey, can you please not swear my mom is listening? Like, Honestly, I've run into them before, and then I just swear more. Like, okay, get in trouble. Get in trouble. All right, you shouldn't be watching my content. If your mom is listening, if you're playing, first off, if you're playing my content out loud, and your mom is listening, all right, I'll swear more. You shouldn't be watching my content in the fucking first place. The first of all. Second off, um... I kind of hope you get in trouble for watching my shit. I don't want you watching my shit. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, I love pie. Pie, I will. I fucking love pie. <laughs> Listen, I'm a pie slut. <laughs> pie is my shit. I love pie. And like the thing about, you know, not having like 18 plus streams, I know that I can't prevent kids from watching my stuff like that's inevitable the internet is one thing if not impossible to regulate in that regard so i know that i can't stop minors from watching my stuff but i can be very vocal that hey my stuff is for adults like that's not for children it's it's for people who are of age who have fully developed understand their critical reasoning have fully developed critical reasoning all that fun stuff um 
and whatnot. That it's it's merely a, a situation of like one. I feel like kids are not old enough to be able to understand when I'm making a joke as well as if I'm just being completely and utterly serious. Like there's that. Um, Cause chances are they don't fully know what is a joke and what isn't a joke. They can't fully understand where I'm coming from with things. Additionally, they also t tend to just hop on bandwagon trends usually. And that's something I don't want because I don't want them to be like, oh, this streamer I like did this thing, likes this thing, so that's an acceptable thing to do. I'm not going to think about it any further. And it's like, no, please, if <laughs> build your own opinion of something, please, 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 please build your own opinion of the thing. Don't just go, oh, my favorite streamer is hates cake, so therefore I hate cake. No, like, I don't, I don't, no, never, like... I, I don't want you to do that. And then another thing is like, I don't want to have to regulate or censor myself because a, a minor is watching me. I don't want to do that. Like my stuff is meant, there are not enough adult spaces in my opinion. There's too many like kid spaces and not enough adult spaces. And I want to have an adult space, um, a place for adults to be adults and to talk about adult things. And I don't mean like NSFW adult things, just to be able to say Kirby titties, like, you know? We all know that Kirby doesn't have titties, but it's funny to joke about it. But I feel like a child wouldn't understand that reasoning as much. I feel like kids don't really start becoming adults, like, mentally until they're, like, 17. And even then, it's questionable whether or not they're actually, like... Because people develop differently. Um, depending on where they are, who they are, what they are thinking, what they are feeling, like... I feel like I've missed a donut. Um, so it's just complicated and I don't want to have to like essentially struggle with that. And also there's the, the whole thing of like, um, I don't want to make my stream a safe space for people with less than great intentions with kids. Um, I won't go too in depth with that, but I understand the plight that's currently plaguing the internet and I don't want to aid in that plight. So, I don't want to give those people a space to congregate, period. Like, full stop. I don't. Especially in the VTubing community, because unfortunately that sort of shit is very common in the VTubing community. I won't name names. Frito knows who I'm thinking about, though. Uh, but I won't name names. Um, but there are some really nasty people. Um, and I don't want to give them a space, you know? Ugh. Um. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Oh, your fucking mom is listening? Well, shit! <laughs> um. Is your mom hot? <laughs> that seems like something I would say. <laughs> I would say that. <laughs> it's in everything. Medication, toothpaste, food, drink. It's important that there are options of either because diabetic people deserve sweet things, but for the love of fuck, I wish to not be itchy and covered in hives. Yeah, no, I totally get that, Brioche. I hope you can find stuff with no artificial sweeteners in it. And also, I hope that more stuff can come out that way. I don't like artificial sweeteners because one, I think they taste disgusting. And two, um, why would I want something artificial when the normal thing works just fine? And I also have hypoglycemia, so for me... Having a little extra sugar in my diet is not going to kill me. If anything, it'll help me because it'll make me less uh, likely to pass out from uh, my hypoglycemia. So, But I do understand the pain and I truly hope that you're able to figure that out so you can get some help on that. Because that sucks ass. Also, Stevia is the worst. <laughs> Fuck Stevia. Um, yeah, the brain... Well, yeah, the brain doesn't stop developing until 24. You're right. You are precisely right. Um, uh, hello, Q. We're talking about why we hate children. <laughs> um, was anything confirmed on that? Um, I, I, 
I'll DM you about it. Brioche, you think you know? If so, we can talk about it in DMs. It's pretty uncomfy. Um, I'm in your mom. That's <laughs> sticky. Cute. <laughs> oh, no. But no, I don't mind talking about it with close friends like Brioche and Grizz. Like, I'll, I'll tell you guys about it. But otherwise, like, I don't want to spread rumors. I just know you guys are safe people to talk about this topic with because you won't go around actually spreading it to everyone you know um but and i know that you guys have well at least i know that brioche has is definitely probably been affected by it so i'll talk to you about it i just know you've been going through a lot so i've been refraining but if you want to know about it i'll i'll tell you about it because it's been a, a yikes <laughs> OMG, <laughs> my brain stops developing next month you're gonna be an adult <laughs> You're not gonna be a little kid anymore. Oh fuck. You. Okay, where is this goddamn fourth donut? I have not found the fourth donut. Can I just like go back? Okay, I think I have to get lost in the mall. Yawns. <laughs> oh, do you get to guess big person words in a month? <laughs> Who the fuck is using the laugh command? I'm gonna fight you, Grizz. Grizz, I'm gonna fight you. Grizz, I'm gonna drown you in the bathtub. <laughs> but yeah, we're in the anti children club. I was talking about how I don't like minors because I, one, don't. I'm not interested in babysitting someone else's kids. You had them. They're your crotch goblins. You have to take care of them. I will not help you, nor do I give a shit. Because, like, one day I wouldn't mind having kids, but goddamn, they are not going to be babies. I'm going to be adopting. Like, fuck that. If I have kids, I'm adopting them. And they're going to be teenagers when I do. Um... Cause like everybody's gonna adopt the baby, you know? Nobody's gonna adopt the teen, so that's what I'm going for here. <clears throat> if I have kids, that's gonna be that's gonna be the only way. It's adoption or nothing. Nerf or nothing. <laughs> I've already discussed that though, where I was like, if I ever had children, right? It would be adoption and after I'm well at like stable economically. Like, without any problem of, like, being able to pay my bills, without any issues of, like, will I find, where can I find my next meal? Will I be able to make ends meet? Like, no, I want a couple, couple thousand saved up before then, if more. Like, I want to be well off. Uh, maybe one day I'll know what attacks. <laughs> I do not condone tax evasion, but that's where I'll leave it. Donut! Alright, I got one of the donuts. Got a gacha pong. <laughs> yeah, I do not endorse tax evasion. I do not sub do not endorse it, but And that's it. I will not speak further on this. I will not be taking any more questions. Thank you for understanding. He does a little twirl in the air. Go for him. Hell yeah. Um, there's coins back there. I love how fast Kirby moves. We're gonna be stuck on this level for a hot minute until I find this last fucking donut.
there's that turnip game. You're right. Do y'all remember the anime waifu game that helped you fill out fill out your taxes for last year? Anyone remember that? Shock they didn't release one for the 2023 tax season because that worked really well. Like people really liked it. Um. Oh, you have to pay both countries taxes. Oh no. Problems. Um, Yoshi endorses tax fraud. Yes, he does. Um, live, you live in Kangaroo Town. Lucky. I want to move to Kangaroo Town. Get me out of Eagle Land. Fuck this place. Uh, I do not know what it is called. All right. Hydrate. Does coffee count as hydrate? Brioche, do we count coffee as hydrate? Turnip can it's tax evasion. I know that game. Also, Perito, do do we do we count coffee as hydrate? Because I saw you hydrated too. And also posture check. So I will posture check. Well, Q, it's not your hydrate, it's Brioche's hydrate. <laughs> Alright, posture check. I am no longer a shrimp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coffee is dehydrating. All right, I'll do water. I'll do water. Coffee is hydrating. <laughs> All right. So I had one hydrate, two hydrates from burrito and one hydrate from brioche. So there's brioche's hydrate. Here's burrito's hydrate. And burrito's second hydrate. My blood runs straight coughing and stress. Honestly, me too. <laughs> Sometimes it just be that way. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get lost on purpose. Oh boy. There's no donut here. Do I have to look up where the donuts are? I think I do. Hold on. night david take care uh i didn't make dollar money in my first year because i got married and planning that and the visa i believe i am good i hope please i love it here <laughs> uh august made a full year Ooh, nice uh my one year stream anniversary was august 30th and that's when i debuted my model it was really fun it was great it was also my birthday so it was really fun i had fun i had a good time um, that was my debut. It was, it was a wonderful time. Um, but yeah, I am now one year stream. Um, things are going really well, <laughs> actually. Um, all right. Alavel Mall Donut Locations. Yeah, a whole year. It has, in fact, been that long. It, it has, in fact, been a whole year. <laughs> it's, it's been a lot. Yeah, it's, it's been absolutely insane. I want to open up a little shop one day. Uh, my plan is to hire trans friends to work there and get them in for trans affirming care. Oh, that's so sweet. I support that dream. Why does Google want to know my location for looking up donut locations in Alavel Mall? <laughs> Google, you ain't getting my location. Google, I don't give a fuck. 
The only time you get to know my location is when I'm using Google Maps, and I don't use Google Maps, so fuck you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's where the first one is. Alright. Oh, that's where the second donut is? Okay. All right, gotta beat up Wild Frosty first. I have not missed the second donut though. But I would not have found this donut had I not seen the guy for it. Oh shit. Nah, fam! Oh, fuck. Just die already! There we go. Hell yeah. Ice Queen! Alright, give me the, the food. Ooh, Amu Rice. Uh, I want Amu Rice. Okay, so here's apparently... Up this way is where the next, uh, donut is. Fuck! Shh, that didn't happen. What? Mmm. Sashimi. Gotcha, Bone! Alright. Silence, snowman. Okay, so here... I see. Okay. Come here. I want you. Yay. Okay. I didn't know that was there, cause... <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just a dumbass. Alright. They're here! Now I can check chat. Third donut is on the date room. In the cake shop. Across from the ice cream shop. Right in here. And then we find the one donut on their date. After I steal their food. Donut! Open that one, because we want the coins. Open that one, because we want the coins. And I'm fucking rich, apparently. Uh, what the fuck is happening in chat? I just see Ulu Daddy Google Chat! What the fuck? <laughs> Too much coin! <laughs> oh no! Uh, okay, hold on. Um. I can't even remember how long I've been doing it. You could probably check. Um. But I also archive all of my streams, so like, that's how I know. Google outright asking me for my address. It really does do that. Um, 
Please don't send 30 cakes to my house. I would be very scared. <laughs> oh no, not daddy. Google chat. <laughs> Google starts sending me all my mail, but it's printed out. Mmm, sashimi. Uh... That's just so much cream. How can somebody handle all that cream? <laughs> I need to stop. I need some help. <laughs> Magic crossing a date and stealing their donut. I do it all the time. No, no, we don't. We don't want. Can my auto mod stop flagging profanity? Profanity ain't a big deal. I just murdered all four of those foxes in one go. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> Kirby, stop making that noise. I don't like it. All right, the last donut. The last donut. Yay! Four donuts! And money! I wish I could tell what the fuck that was, Xandric! Um... Queem them good! <laughs> and then just seven one of them down. They're walking away going, Motherfucker, you got a bald head! <laughs> Oh, uh, no. So oh, it's a suck! Oh, okay. <laughs> you see, I'm dyslexic, so I would have never have guessed. <laughs> Slurping all the way to your mama's house and pound down. <laughs> I hate that. Jabhog, <laughs> charge those points up, then zing, let him fly. Jabhog is famous in the new world for its spiky spines. They were short and cute when it was young, but they eventually grew into dangerous needles, so don't grab anything that gets too close. So approach with caution. Bet. Alavel Mall sign. This was the logo for Alavel Mall, owned by Alavel Holding Company, making life even livelier was their corporate slogan. They ran a wide range of businesses, entertainment arenas, food shops, service industries. Now the remains of those businesses can be found in all kinds of places, empty and alone. I see you. So this is a Wally situation where one corporation got way too powerful. Not the spinning dust! God, Brioche. You... I, I fear you some days. Alright. The brawl at the mall. Ice treasure. And ranger. Let's do ranger treasure. Alright, we're shooting. I was expecting that to be Gatorade and then it wasn't. It was fucking coffee. <laughs> I got so shocked. I'm not complaining. All right. <clears throat> oh God, come on. Uh, please. Thank you. There we go. Do, 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 do. I think I'm gonna have to retry that. Uh, but <laughs> Coach Clark. <laughs> okay, I okay. I did pretty good. I did pretty good. Um, the forbidden mixture. <laughs> uh, I'm honestly terrifying. I can't be killed. You're just an eldritch abomination. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get on this. <laughs>
Come on, hit the hit the target. Oh shit. Nice. Go, Kirby. Go. Faster, Kirby. Faster, Corb. Yes. Crack shot, Rams. <laughs> yeah, really, though. <laughs> I got I got amazing aim. Can you tell I'm a bow main in Genshin? <laughs> I'm actually a polar main, but that's only because my current main is Sino, because, well... Uh, look at my aesthetic and tell me that I wouldn't main Sino. I, I'll wait. Um, but otherwise, I love bows. They're my favorite to use. I don't know which one. Oh, it's ice. Okay. Freeze and fling. I bet. Oh, God. Oh, okay. So I just like sh moving along. Okay. Nice. That wasn't too bad. I'm gonna close my eyes. All right, good night, Brioche. Rest well. Thank you for stopping by. I'll probably be live when you wake up. <laughs> I may or may not be live when you wake up because I'm playing this game to completion, hopefully. I'm going until 7 p.m. Eastern, so I may or may not still be live when you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to stop by if that's the case. Otherwise, have a good rest of your night. Go get some sleep. Um, and thank you for popping in. Yeah. Excuse me. It seems like it. Seems like the target time could be a bit of a challenge. That's okay. We, we got it. <gasps> okay. <laughs> We're gonna try, try that again. I got fucking launched. All right, we got this. We got this. Nice. And snatch. Did we get it? What am I doing wrong? Do I just need to like slide all the way through? Oh, maybe that is what I have to do. Okay. I didn't realize I could control the length at which you did that. Did 
Did that do it? Well, I'll be damned! <laughs> All right, bet. That wasn't too bad, actually, once I figured it out. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> All right, let's check to make sure I got everything in here. 39 out of 46. Okay, so it's Brawl at the Mall. Um... I'm missing... Hmm... I'm missing one. Let me see if I can find it. Oh! Aha! I thought there would be one there! Okay, what is it? Which one's this one? Car, please be car. Oh, it's the cone! No! <laughs> Alright, we'll get this one down and then we'll do the boss level and we'll call break at that point. That sound good for everybody? Cone B! Did I make it? Oh, so close. And it's very clear I could shave time off very easily. Let's try that again. We got this. Cone B! Oh shit! We'll try that again. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Ignore my model freaking out. I was just sitting in my chair. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Ascension. We rise! I hope that was good enough. Yeah! <laughs> that one was fun! I can vibe with Cone B. <laughs> the Cone B one was good. I, could, I like that one. Alright. Missions, clear the state. I don't know what the other ones are. But we'll 100% the brawl at the mall, and then we'll take a break. Ooh, this is some tough music. I don't know what to expect from this boss. Looks like a big monkey, though. Which is a little, little spoopy. We fighting Godzilla? 
I should be able to freeze the water. <laughs> Anything? I like that you have free camera, essentially. Kind of like that a lot. It allows you to see a lot more. It allows you to handle things a little better. Ooh. Look at all the bananas! Makes me think of the <laughs> one song, DK. <laughs> the DK rap. Get that. Get that. Nah. Alright. Bomb. Sword or ice? I'll do sword. Bomb would probably be best, but... Well, we're sword mains in this. Actually, no, I'm not a sword main. I'm actually like a mic main. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Strong armed beast. Goramondo. Oh shit. Ah, uh -uh, fam. Oh shit. All right, I was wondering if you could send me a character reference. For whomst? For meest? For meest? Do you want meest character reference? Cause I can, I can do that. <laughs> Yoist. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I can do that during break. Hold on. God, stop hopping around. Dude, your health is so big! <laughs> Going off your break soon? That's totally fine. God, why do you have such fucking big monkey health? Can I send the rocks back at him? No, I can't. Ah! Oh, you're so annoying! Also, I'm glad you think the model looks good. <laughs> I spent a month rigging it and I still have to fix some things. Like, there's some stuff I didn't notice until the debut. Like, I want to fix the hair and stuff. And I still want to adjust body movements. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Ah, uh, you're so annoying, Gorimondo. Although I've got his attack pattern down, so if one of the challenges is you can't get hit, this is definitely a genetically modified organism. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, shit. Oh, God, he's got a fat ass. Are you ruin guarding me, you little bitch? Oh shit, can I jump please? Yes! Finally! God damn! Such a, a note to self, don't use sword. <laughs> Worst weapon I could have picked for that. Oh! Defeat Gorimondo with the sword ability! Nice! I had no idea. <laughs> yeah! I bet one is don't get hit, one is slip through Gorimondo's legs. What the fuck? One, I bet is don't get hit, and the other one is like probably defeat him with like the bomb ability or something. Alright, we'll try the go through legs, and we'll try and beat him with another ability. Oh, well, never mind, we're getting dragged back to Waddle Dee Town. Oh my god, a gotcha machine! Hey, yo! You guys can now use the one, uh... <laughs> the one point redeem for use the gotcha. Waddle Dee's weapons shop. Hell yeah. <sighs> oh, you're happy. You want a second player to join you? Okay. Hey! Oh look! Waddle Dee's weapon shop is open! Looks like a quick way to grab coffee abilities. I also heard the Waddle Dee inside knows a secret to growing stronger. Let's pay him a visit. I bet. Hi! Welcome to Waddle Dee's weapon shop. I work with all types of coffee abilities. It's kind of my thing. Any copy, ability, copy abilities you find out there will become available in here. Pop in and grab one anytime. Oh, and guess what else? I can help you evolve those abilities to make them much stronger. The blueprint contains some incredible techniques we can use it to evolve your ability. Let's try evolving right now. I'll ready my tools. I want to evolve bomb. Thanks for waiting. The cutter ability can now be evolved. Volcano fire. But I want to evolve bomb. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, star coins and rare stars. Okay, I've been doing that. Prepped everything in advance this time, so we're all set. Just press A to evolve the ability. All right. Um, do you understand how hard it is for me not to make the Waddle Dee joke every damn time? I well, listen. <laughs> it's not my fault. That's what they're called. Ooh. What a nice look at a hat. Nice hat. Success. All done. The fire ability has evolved into volcano fire. If you find more blueprints, just bring them to me. I'll use them to evolve your abilities even further. I bet. We can evolve you.
Let's see what the cutter ability looks evolved. Whoosh. Oh. I just get two two little two little blades. Alright. That's lame, but okay. Oh shit, if you hold It just stays there and then it comes back. Oh my god. That's scary. <laughs> the cutter ability lets you swap your Stop your attack in midair and charge it up! Holy shit! Just hold down B after you throw. Once it's charged up, let go of B and unleash to, to unleash a powerful return attack. Holy shit. That's scary. When you're ready to explore some more, just hop on the warp star and fly to a new area. I I'm gonna steal a maximum tomato. Oh my goodness, Andrick! Thank you so much for following. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. I've got a skedaddle. Totally fine. Take care of yourself. Have a good rest of your day. And thank you for dropping a follow. I appreciate it so much. We're gonna go do the gotcha because I have so much fucking money. <laughs> Cherry. Let's keep going. My gambling addiction. The switch. Bomb block. They're so cute. N melon. Kirby. <laughs> Sad. Sword Kirby! Slice through this new world as a sword-wielding, green-hatted hero. Try charging up before you swing for extra power. Train harder. Train hard and become this world's new sword master. Isn't that supposed to be a reference to Link? Why, hello, Lightning. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's good to meet you. Hope you're doing well. Feel free to tell me about your day if you'd like. Storage cabinet. We're just playing the gotcha. <laughs> before I go back to the boss fight and... Try and Gordo Bar. Try to get some more hidden waddle waddle bees. What's in here? Kabu. I have so many star coins. Treasure chest. Oh god. Dome Mouth Kirby. Kirby gave the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire dome into his mouth. Wrap around one of these, then twist until it pops open. Think there's anything good inside? Only one way to find out. Um, going back, gonna lurk. Okay, totally fine, chat Nubis. And it's the monkey. The monkey boss, because we just started. We're on world one still. Um, which is fine. <laughs> Not a big deal. <laughs> um... Did we get the wanted poster one? <laughs> it's so funny how they draw Kirby in the wanted posters. Oh, it's so good. Um, all right, let's keep let's keep pulling. All right, what's in this one? Captured Waddle Dee, one of the Waddle Dees being held captive by the fearsome beast pack. There are so many out there waiting to be saved. You can almost hear them calling for help. Wah wah, wah wah, let me out, let me out. Wait, you hear that too? One of them must be nearby. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. I love the, like, little descriptors in this game. Blue Star Coin, I already had that one. I feel like I'm opening Pokemon card decks on stream. Oh my goodness, it's the Locker Kirby. Storage Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode. Yeah. Now he can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth. Wiggle and thrash until you tip over. Hey, who put this behind the lockers? All right. Oh. Lightron Works Sign. The Lightron Works Company was a massive corporation that invested in research and development with all kinds of fields. Electro, Bio, Astro, and more. Lightron eventually split up, giving rise to many rival companies and countless heated corporate battles. Ooh, yikes. Well, that's okay. <laughs> oh my god, can this Kirby stop haunting me? <laughs> Car! 
We got the car. Gabon. We have so much money. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna sob. Watermel- oh, watermelon! I love watermelon. So good. <gasps> Bandana Waddle Dee! Bandana Waddle Dee was pulled through the vortex along with Kirby. When he heard that his fellow Waddle Dees were being captured by the Beast Pack, he grabbed his trusty spear and ran to help. He can join you as player two while you uh, explore the new world. There's a training dummy in the weapons shop to practice new abilities on. I know, <laughs> but I'm lazy and don't feel like doing it. I'd rather learn by running around like a fool. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you for the reminder. It's very sweet of you. Rental lockers. Sir Kibble. Boo. Arrow sign. God, <laughs> they just put assets in here. Oh my gosh, gun Kirby. Ranger, time for some sh Shooting star sharp shooting. Pew pew, hold the button down to charge an aim. Then let go and set to send a sparkling shot flying. Charge it up for bigger blasts. Oh, we got that one. Hey, yo! Bolted storage mouth. Kirby, <laughs> they count as different things? Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode. Now you can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth that this one won't budge. Wiggle, 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 and whoa, he just took down the whole chunk of the wall down. Use this to find hidden routes you didn't know about. Target switch. Poppy Bros Jr. Oh, we're getting so many new ones. Wanted <laughs> wanted posters are so funny. I wonder if there's anything you could do with the Oh hell yeah! Finally. Strong armed beast Gorimondo. Gorimondo considers the local shopping mall to be his personal territory. As part of the Beast Pack's ex executive council, he's in charge of capturing Waddle Dees and gathering food. He tends to eat all the fruit himself. He just can't help it. This behavior has earned him an earful from his boss more than once. Who's his boss? Maxim to my doll. Water tank! Alright, how much of the collection? Okay. 39 out of 79. Um, so we need... 40 more? Bouncy. And we got the rarest one, so... Hey, yo, Bernard! This uppity pup is an expert marksman. Pew pew, who's quick on his feet as he patrols the new world. His eyes are hidden under the hat, but that doesn't seem to affect his aim. He also has an impressive sniffer that can track prey, near or far. So we're at 40 out of 79. Starblock, 41 out of 79. <gasps> 42 out of 79. This ability is hot, hot, hot. Light fuses, burn through ops light fuses, burn through obstacles, and toast your enemies with the power of a raging fire. Run, jump, then attack to blast forward as a fireball. Um, so that's 41. 42. Wild Frosty, the mysterious vortex brought Mr. Frosty to the new world too. He arrived shortly before Kirby and immediately joined the beast pack. The change in wardrobe must have made it an easy choice. It's tough to be the new guy, but his fellow beasts love working with him. Oh, that's sweet. Kirby! Car mouth Kirby. Uh, now he can stuff an entire car into his mouth. When he does, he turns into a peppy pink car that can jump and use turbo dash. It's a nice day for a scenic drive. Turn up the radio. Blade Knight. Needless. <gasps> oh my goodness. A good boy. A woofy. A common beast that can be found all over the new world. They're pretty cute. But they have a dangerous wild side. They'll growl and jump at anyone who crosses them. A whole bunch of these critters attack the waddle dee. It's funny. You'd think they'd get along. You would. Wouldn't you? Alright, 47 out of 79. 48. 49! Burr, so cold! Can you see your own breath? Make a chunk of ice, then kick it forward. Skate and slide wherever you go. You'll even glide right over mud and magma. Ooh, I can glide over magma? Ooh, that's exciting. 50! Shotso! 51, the red star coin. 
Ugh, big Kabu again. Water tank again. Tulip! Green star coin, that's 53. 54, Waddle D. These D life. Uh, these D lifeful residents of Planet Popstar landed in the New World before Kirby arrived. Things looked grim when wild beasts began to capture them and steal our precious food. But with Kirby's help, they're rebuilding their town and starting over. Oh, that's sweet. Ugh. So we're at 54 out of 79. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Bronto Burt. 55 out of 79. Late night. Blue Star. Hothead. 56. Gordo. 57. Cone Mouth. Chili. 58. Tangerine, 59. That's a tangerine, not an orange. Sir Kibble. Arrow sign. Ayo! Car shop signs. This is 60. This logo belonged to an auto shop named Holine Custom Autos, part of Holine Core. Holine also sold industrial parts, managed construction, and made all kinds of stuff from buildings to streets to amusement park rides. Remember, if it's quality, it's Holine. Or, excuse me, perhaps it was would be more accurate. So I should be at 60. Yeah. 19 more. Eighteen. Invincible candy. Oh yay! Captured Waddle Dees. Seventeen left. The beast pack managed to catch these three Waddle Dees with one golden cage. If they work together, they might be able to. Oh, never mind. They're too sad to move. All they can do is cry out for help. Wah 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 wah. Somebody save them. <laughs> All right, we got seventeen left to find, and I have so much fucking money. Warp Star. Sixteen. 15. Cutter. Swish. Sling that sharp edged boomerang. Use it to grab far off items. Hold the button down to freeze it in midair and charge it up. This will make it an extra powerful. Swish. Alright. 15 left. 14. Pop flower. 13. Star coin. We're getting really lucky today. 12. Cappy. Nice. 12 left. Got a star block again. Yuck. 11 left. Tor... Tor... Torner? Tor... Torner? Has a whole shell made of concrete, as if it walked off of someone's sidewalk. It has a thick skull and a mean bite, but its body is pretty delicate. A mouthful mode ability might be able to have, help you crack through its shell and land a brutal blow from above. It's the cone. Um... Yeah, so just 11 left. Um... And I believe it's all, like, the super rare ones, which is a yikes. But we have so much money. Lantern switch. Ten left. Travacone. Nine left. Just nine more. <gasps> yeah! Needle! Ouch, ouch! Careful with those spikes. Jab enemies in place or pick them up by rolling around. Have a whole bunch of them together, then launch them all off at once. Pow! Eight left. <gasps> yes! Elphalin! A mystical new friend who's totally gonna betray us. You met in a mysterious new world. You found Elphalin as he was trying to save the Waddle Dees from the Beast Pack. He seems happy to be Kirby's guide, sharing helpful advice to save the Waddle Dees and rebuild their town. Thanks, Elphalin. Oh, wait, what? What did it say? Did it say a thing? Alright, hold on. Those just like... Did it say that I couldn't get any more from there? I think it did.
All right, 72 out of 79. I'm guessing these ones you can't get that way. We'll discover where you can earn this figure by rebuilding more of Waddle D Town. Ah, uh, okay. So I got all the ones from the gotcha, which is nice. So the rest is just done by rebuilding Waddle D Town. Got it. All right, so. Let's go beat up the boss a few more times. What did I fucking say? I knew it was going to be a coastal thing. You defeat the boss and open up a new area. Nice. Abandoned beach. So... But we want more of the hidden waddle dees. So, uh, slip through Gory Mondo's legs, and I'm guessing the other one... We already did the sword ability, so we're going to just take another ability. Um, I know bomb's a thing in here. So... Whoopsie. Um... What I imagine is like, don't get grabbed, maybe. Or maybe like damage doesn't matter. Maybe you can take damage and the game just doesn't care. I'm just used to games being like, oh yeah, no, don't take damage from bosses. And that being the thing, so. Let's try ice this time. We did bomb last time. Let's do ice. Not bomb, sword last time. So we'll do ice and then we'll do bomb. Nice. Oh shit. Oh, nice! He's frozen! Oh, this is so much easier. He's just gonna do this now. He's gonna spin. Tornado! Oh, shit. There we go. That one was pretty easy. I feel like Bomb is probably the easiest thing to fight with him, though. Okay, cool. If it's just like do Ice and Bomb, I'm going to laugh. Clear within two minutes. Okay. So apparently Ice is the easy one. <laughs> Clear without- okay. I thought it would be clear without taking any damage. I feel like ice would be the best for that then.
I just gotta get be more careful and stop getting so close. So we'll try it without damage. Um, I think all I need to do is use ice though, because ice is surprisingly good. <laughs> Nice. Let's steal this whole pile of bananas. Take that down. All right, this time no damage. Easy. We're doing pretty good so far. Oh shit. Ah. Uh, well, that's useless now. <laughs> All right. So actually, um, I'm just going to take the break early because I have to use the restroom. So we're going to go take a quick break about 10, 20 minutes. Um, oh, that's so cute. Alpha Lynn, I know you're a villain though uh anyway so we're gonna take a quick break uh uh go get something to eat go get something to drink and then we will be right back in about 10 excuse me 10 to 20 minutes so yeah see you then
Did y'all see the stroke my computer just had? <laughs> Trying to switch between the two scenes? Jesus. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to this dream. Hope you guys had a great break. Uh, we're going to hop right into this. Um, I'm not even going to, like, hesitate. I really had to use the bathroom. That's why I kind of, like, ended it off. Anybody who's been here long enough knows I fucking have to pee all the time. Um, my bladder is weak as hell, so... We are back now after having used the restroom. Okay, I can just hold it. Okay, cool. I don't have to keep tapping it. Oh, he just slides down. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, give me the nanas. I got to figure out how to not take any damage. Maybe I'll try the bombs. Yeah, there's that, but also I just kind of like sit- fuck, Grizz. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll hydrate- does coffee count as hydration, Grizz? I must know, does coffee count as hydration for you? Also, eat salt, I shall eat salt. Mmm, salt was good. Grizz, hydrate, coffee, yes or no? Yes? I bet it's bean water. Mmm. Bean water. So good. Is coffee a soup? I think coffee's a soup. Let's try bomb this time. I don't know if bomb will work, but we could try. Both. <laughs> broth? Yes, broth. Facts. Broth means soup. They're the same thing. Why is bomb kind of busted? Aha. Why does this work so fucking well? Yes! No damage! Hell yeah! And I beat him with one of each weapon. Hell yeah. Look at that! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. When the doctor tells me I could drink black coffee or water and nothing else, ca coffee is water! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so like You can't have tea? Really? I mean, that's sad. 
I'm sorry. I also like tea, so that's really sad. You've saved all the Waddle Dees in natural planes. Hell yeah. Um, I need 50 Ds. Adventures get me so excited, especially when I'm with you, Kirby. Those are looks beautiful. We should go for a swim over here. Yes, we should. Let's go explore a little bit. This feels like there should be something here. So I'm glad I rigged in my mouth. Just, okay. I don't know if you all have noticed. My mouth just hangs open sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I rigged that in because like I'll just sit there and you can I, I won't notice until I look down and see my model just because I just I just leave my mouth open sometimes I just <laughs> I'm gaping for no reason oh it's so funny every time <laughs> just like All right, hidden portal to treasure road. Hmm. Mouth free. I'm not even breathing through my mouth, though. I just kind of. I'm like, I'm not even breathing through my mouth. I'm breathing through my nose. See, I did it again. I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even breathing through my mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drooling a bit. I'm not even drooling. God, fuck these guys. Okay. There it is. Run! There we go. Yay! Sticks a finger and ran- You could! Oh, how am I supposed to shave three seconds off of that? <laughs> I do just sit there like- I quite literally rigged it in to do that. So, like, otherwise my mouth would be, like, going between mouth forms. And it would look really ugly. So I just kind of, I rigged in for each of my mouth forms, like, a slight open mouth. Just in case. The only downside is that sometimes, uh, Live2D thinks I have my mouth open when I don't. That's, like, the only downside that I can like actually say is that sometimes live 2d like when i lift my head and stuff that it'll go oh yeah ramsey's your mouth is open i'm like no my mouth is not <laughs> did i do it Yeah! Hell yeah! We did it! Please do not stick fingers in orifices! I'll bite! I'll warn, if you do stick your finger in your mouth, I will bite it. I, I have a pension for biting. This was my one PSA for the day! But what if, what if I like fingers in my orifices? <laughs> okay, hold up. I'm gonna try this again. Already, I know I fucked this up. <laughs> right?
Yeah, on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I like? Okay, no, apparently not. Okay, we're gonna try this again because that's that's killing time right there. I didn't think I'd be doing a puzzle in a time trial, but I. <laughs> I'm trying NSFW side. <laughs> uh, you're right. Q, you are no better. There we go. A ca casual throne plug. This was an easy puzzle. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, that's not right. Um, you go that way. I swallow you. Which then opens the path for this. This one's complicated. Then I could take you. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> notice the Kirby Teddy. Fuck you. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. <laughs> Gotta feed the followers their monthly cup of hot. <laughs> hey, look. Again, 18 plus streamer. I'm cool with that. I, you know what? I am not a lewd tuber, right? I, I'm just not. I'm not a lewd streamer, okay? However, I will say I was half tempted. I was half tempted to make my model lewd and I did it. <laughs> I was very tempted. I did not. <laughs> I was very tempted to make my model way more lewd than it is. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Decided against it. Although a lot of people really like this design and I'm very happy because I thought it was nice too. <laughs> I have seen some of your art. It's actually not as bad as as you're making it out to be. <laughs> it's actually pretty uh, tame, I would say. Um. This puzzle's fucking aggressive. No, it's not loot. Does it? Wait. Does it really? Does Discord get mad at you when you do that? I don't know why that would do that. That's upsetting. Um, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Adama just fucking hates you today. I don't know why. It's really annoying because I'm like, I don't have any of those things. 
I don't have any of those things marked as like triggering. Twitch is doing that. It's not even like my cloud bot that's doing it. I don't think. I mean, it could be my cloud bot, but I don't think it is. Like, my thing is, that so long as you're not saying a slur, I do not care. Like, at all. Like, you're doing the bare minimum of being a good person, then I don't give a fuck. Someone says fuck in my chat, Twitch. No, 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 that, that might be, that might be bad. That might be, that might be bad. We want to make sure the streamer knows that you're saying that. Me says fuck on stream, which I right, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Q <laughs> Q's fine apparently. <laughs> he just doesn't like Grizz. <laughs> Grizz is, has been too naughty. Automod does what Automod the bots. It's just bots to do what bo bots want. Kirby titties is fine, but fuck off. Oh god. <laughs> Smacks red button. Got that one too. <laughs> I did. I was like, oh shit. Let me just <laughs> allow that real quick. Oh man. Also, don't forget there's a poll going on. Uh, today, I think, is the last day to vote. So, if you haven't voted yet, and you do want your vote to count, now would be the time to do it. Fuck me in the ass, come on! Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get this. And already I fucked up. <laughs> That's totally fine, Grizz. Um, work schedules like that, by the way, in my opinion, should be illegal. That's all. Work schedules that are like, oh, we'll call you when we need you. They, they, those should be fucking illegal. I think they're so predatory. They make me mad. I don't know. Maybe I'm just autistic. <laughs> but humans also work off schedules and structure. So not having a solid one is really annoying. Oh. Oh. Game Theory just posted a video about Poppy Playtime, no less. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know, Game Theory just posted a video. Um, you're welcome. I got a message on my fucking desktop about it. I know! It's about the third chapter, too! I- MadPat's fucking insane. 
MatPat does what MatPat wants. <laughs> It, okay, he's... Okay. So, MatPat did sell Game Theory, but he still has creative control. Like, he's still part of it. It's just owned by a larger company because it's grown too big for one person to handle. That's really what it is. Um, so he's still part of it. And he's still doing the narration. Um, if that helps any. Um, but yeah, he did sell it. And it did, honestly, I think he, it, he only said that in, to hold the company in case, like, the company, uh, responsible in case shit goes downhill. Um, but I can understand his decision. I mean, he's a parent now, like, he doesn't have time to just sit around making theories anymore. As tough as it is to say that. Um, I work construction, so I work stupid hours. And then get laid off. The income is a bit unstable, yes, but the pay... They pay me enough to carry over as long as I'm not done. That's good, at least. But uh, it's still unfortunate that you have to work, like, unreliable hours. So I'm sorry you have to go through that, but... I'm glad the pay is at least worth it. So I've learned that bunny hopping in the stairs is faster than just walking. So I'm going to do that next time. <laughs> it's just bunny hop. Because I think that was actually a little slower. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so bunny hopping is faster, apparently. Speed. <laughs> Speedrun strats, yeah, really? I gotta speedrun this shit. It's really hard to get the 145. Oh, okay. <laughs> Already off to a great start. <laughs> You didn't see that. That one didn't count. That one didn't count. You didn't see shit. Like, look at how much faster he moves when he, he jumps. Gonna go get lunch? All right, go get a good lunch. Let me know what you get, because I'm curious. I'm nosy. I live vicariously through my friends. <laughs> my chat, I live vicariously through you. Did you know that? <laughs>
Look at how much faster I'm moving. Except when I'm getting hit by a bone. Except when I'm getting boned. Probably cereal valid. That's still good. Cereal in the middle of the day slaps. You are also the aren't you also the same person that had like a fucking um hot pocket this morning for dinner for uh breakfast? Look at him move! He's moving. Well, I just shaved 10 seconds off my time. I- wow! No, it was you, Carl? Okay, cool. <gasps> wow! I shaved so much time off by fucking hopping! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, you were the one with the Jimmy Dean sandwich. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Can you tell my memory's trash? <laughs> Shout out to my homies in chat who have terrible memory like me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the hopping worked. All right. Are the bombs in an inner tube? <gasps> the bombs are in an inner tube. That's hilarious. Am I in Fontaine? There we go. Milk? Milk? Knock knock nuts? I don't like that they're called knock knock nuts. That makes me uncomfortable. Knock knock nuts. <gasps> hey, you guys want to see something cute? That's all. <laughs> they swing it. <laughs> Enough for <laughs> knocking. God, knock, knock, nuts. Disgusting. Yes, go get, go get your lunch. Yay. I feel like I should have grabbed Cutter, but... E.P. Corb! Yeah, he was very E.P. Very E.P. Corb. I thought Crocodile looked like that. Excuse me. All right. Ooh, flame. Flame or cutter? Um, we'll go cutter. Actually, what does flame do? Oh shit! <laughs> All right, we'll go cutter. Boss fight.
Ah, shit. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Hammer! Turtle! Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> I feel sorrowful for my actions, but only mildly. I hear him. All right, so really quick. There's a ladder over here. All right, what's over here? Oh my gosh, I want that sweater now. Uh, you have permission. If it's big enough, you know how big my sweater preferences are. You know I like to get the biggest sized sweater if I get the sweater. Also, what's its material? Is it wool? Is it cotton? Is it fleece? It better not be fucking fleece. I'll die if it's fleece. I'll be nice to that little little dog guy. Hell yeah! Same pattern on pajama pants. Yeah, check for my size, because I do need clothes, just as a general rule of thumb. I have, like, no clothes. Gib! Yeah! <laughs> that guy just sitting there. Alright, cool. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm in the eye of the storm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Screams. Um. But no, check for my size. See what you can find. And also check for the Mooney in the bank. What the fuck am I mouth pulling? What the hell? Oh no. That doesn't look very appropriate. Oh, I don't I don't like that. Uh, 
Condo? Yeah, right? Like, um... I'm a sale now? I just stab people with this fucking boat? Here we go. Ice! Gib. Yeah! I found all three of the hidden waddledees. Not what I wanted. No! Stop prioritizing! The fucking metal ring. We don't need a metal ring. <laughs> this is uncomfortable. <laughs> A Maxim tomato. Don't mind if I do. Yay! <laughs> the animal sand sculpture. Oh, that's so mean, though. <laughs> Cutter! Bandana Waddledee! Excuse me. Concrete Isles. Keep getting this Uber Eats ad comparing delivery food to video games like, Ma'am, I am a jackal, I cannot... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it be nice sometimes. Uncomfortable. Alright, I'm gonna go. Looks like they finished a new building in town. Let's go take a look. That's the plan. Oh my gosh, Postal Service! Deliveries! Enter present codes. Oh my gosh, we have Kirby's house! Hell yeah. Let's go visit Kirby's house. Aww. I've... Kirby Star Allies, great. Kirby Fighters 2. Uh, I don't remember it. Super Kirby Clash was chill. Kirby Triple Deluxe is great. DDD's Drum Tash. Kirby Fighters. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Kirby Planet Robobot. Uh, uh, let me... There. Team Kirby Clash, Deluxe, Kirby's Blowout Blast, and choice of words there. Uh, Kirby Battle Royale! Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. Cute. Not all the Kirby games, though. Just some of them. Sleebj! 
Aww. Oh, I love his little stretch. I love that they sleep together. It's really cute. Let's take a nap. Deliveries. Hey there, this is Waddle Deliveries. We bring delivery presents right to your door. Just enter any present code you'll find and we'll ship the related presents in and drop them at your house. Speaking of codes, there are a few present codes hidden right here in town. See if you can find them. Also, some present codes are shared through online announcement. We can hop online to claim those. Want to see how it works? Sure you do. I had a present code on the wall across from us. Check that wall and try to find it. All right. Pant size? Yeah, sure. Um. Okay. Oh wait, should have asked this first. Do you have a present code you'd like to enter? No. Thanks very much. Hope to see you again soon. I don't know what the present codes really do, but I can look them up because I'm sure they're not limited time because most of them aren't. When the Waddle Dees were first being captured, I thought I would end up all alone again. But then I met you, Kirby, and you worked so hard to save everyone or build this town. Thank you, Kirby. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Even though I know you're an enemy, you're going to betray me. Oh, hello. Money. We like money. Does this have to do with the feet demands on Wednesday? Which ones? Which thing has to do with the feet demands on Wednesday? First password. What, new clothes? No, I just have no clothes. No, 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 I just actually need pants. <laughs> no, I just, I, I, believe it or not, I, um, don't have the ability to go out much and buy clothes. Um, just as like a general rule, because I am disabled. And going out and trying on pants and stuff is very, very difficult. So if um, Chanuba sees pants while they're out that they think I'll like, they'll just grab them for me. Because um, they know my size. Uh, but sometimes they forget my size, so they ask me for verification. So, yeah. I, I genuinely just need clothes. <laughs> it's just you're actually doing the VTuber vegan go and not wearing pants. No, I... <laughs> I am actually wearing pants. I actually hate the feeling of not wearing pants. Fun fact. I loathe not wearing pants. I don't like the feeling of skin on skin contact. Like, especially my own skin on skin contact. It's very uncomfortable. So I hardly ever, like, don't wear clothes. I'm usually always dressed in, like, pants and then, like, a sweater. In fact, I'm wearing gray pants and an LGBTQ sweater right now and I think a Vocaloid t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm wearing a Vocaloid t-shirt. <laughs> Underneath my gay sweatshirt. <laughs> and it's this really like, this, this sweatshirt is also like really garish actually. It has purple hem on the bottom and then like mint green sleeve hems and then the left sleeve is like a, a deep blue and the right sleeve is like a nice lemon yellow and then the actual like um torso of it is like pink and then the the um 
strings used to tighten the hood are like baby blue. And then the actual hood itself, I believe is red. Yeah, it's red. And then there has, it has like this little patch that's sewn into it that just says love in all the colors and then with a rainbow. So it's a very gay sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, and then the pockets that it has, cause it has two pockets divided by a zipper. Um, the pockets it has are orange. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> I I'm always dressed when sometimes it's in pajamas though but I'm always dressed in full clothes when I am doing anything even when I sleep I don't I I would like to but like skin on skin contact my own skin on skin contact is very very uncomfortable for me I don't like feeling my own skin as weird as that sounds um it's very strange I wish I knew why, but I don't, so I just kind of deal with it. Uh, so when they were asking me about pant size, it was literally because um, I need more pants. Uh, I have like five pairs of pants on rotation at all times, and that's too little. I have a very small wardrobe. It's unfortunate. I have like... 50 shirts that I've collected over the years, but like no pants. Oh, I can just do this. This is hilarious. Who? Who needs to... Yeah, milk. Need some milk. It is very, very annoying. It's part of my like specific autism stems, unfortunately. Um, But yet, like, other people's skin, I don't mind too much. It's just my skin. So, like, if somebody... If I was wearing, like, a, a short sleeve shirt, right? And somebody touched my upper arm, that's fine. Like, but if I touched my upper arm with anything but my hand... Oh, it's game over. Like, if I was wearing, you know, a, a swimsuit or something, and it wasn't, like torso included swimsuit and my like upper arm touched my side i it's over i nope i'm having a meltdown right then and there it's i'm not comfortable i nope no thank you it's such a problem it's so annoying i fucking hate it the full rainbow i said yes the full rainbow uh and no need to apologize it's just kind of the, the autism thing Although the VTuber bingo is fucking hilarious. I just can't participate in that particular part of the VTuber bingo. <laughs> I'm too autistic for VTuber bingo. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, there's apparently a um, sand sculpture somewhere. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> is it really? Oh, that's so fucking funny. I didn't know that was one of the boxes. I don't remember the VTuber bingo card at all. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's hilarious and no no offense intended i i know um i'm autistic and i'm proud of that actually i know a lot of people are like oh i hate 
being autistic, I hate being disabled, uh, all that fun stuff. And that's okay, like, you're valid to feel that way. I don't. <laughs> I'm proud of who I am, even if that who I am is somebody that can't handle some things. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being disabled. I've accepted it. It's been kind of my whole life, and I wouldn't change it. Um, I love the experience I've had in my life, and I have no desire of doing anything different. So, I know some people, though, are like, oh, I hate, like, I know a lot of people who also have HEDS, and they're like, I hate having HEDS. I know a lot of people who have POTS, and they're like, I hate having POTS. And that's valid. That's totally fine. I know a lot of people who are like, oh, I hate having autism. And I'm like, that's cool. I, I understand. It sucks, but, like, um, I find that trying to love who you are is a lot better than a lot healthier than just being like oh i hate everything and like sure it sucks there's good and bad and everything but sometimes it's cool to be it's i i think it's also okay to to be autistic to be disabled there's nothing wrong with it so yeah that's just my personal take on it i don't I, I just, I guess I lived a whole life where negativity was kind of like the norm. And I just got tired of it. I was like, you know, being negative about the whole thing, like, yeah, I know it sucks, but like, I don't have to hate myself for it, you know? I can still love myself and still admit that shit sucks. I don't have, doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. Um... Yeah, I try. I try to have a good attitude. Um, and I hope to inspire other people to have the same attitude, like other disabled folks. Because I know a lot of other people with disabilities have started watching my stuff, which honestly, I couldn't be more proud. Because that's like what I want to do. <laughs> like I want to inspire other disabled people to change their outlooks in life and to have a healthier outlook on themselves and their disability. Um... Uh, but I know that for some people, they just, they just can't do it. And that's okay. That, that's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, God damn it. Get out of here, timer. <laughs> I guess it is almost two, isn't it? Um, so yeah, uh, TLDR, I don't get offended by a lot of things um so no need to apologize if you think you said something that was probably offensive to some chances are i won't get offended by it and if i am i will be very loud about it or i'll say hey that's that's a little insensitive um so no need to apologize you're good you're in you're in the clear <laughs> no hard feelings um not that there would have been in the first place uh shit <laughs> i drowned the corb <laughs> um but yeah, I, I when it comes to disability stuff, I'm very um, transparent about the things I go through and the stuff I, I deal with on a daily basis. And I kind of like doing that. Um, I think it's healthier for everybody that way. But yeah, in terms of my autism, it's fucking annoying. If I had to say one thing is that I hate getting overwhelmed, but like it's part of the good side of being autistic, in my opinion. Because, like, on the one hand, complete the sign. Oh! Because on the one hand, it's like, oh, you know, it sucks being overwhelmed all the time. But at the same time, um, I can recognize things faster than another person. Or I can notice things that people otherwise wouldn't pick up on. And that could be very good as a person. Um, to have that ability. Um, to be able to be like, oh yeah, I can see and understand things that other people would have a rough time taking note of, you know? Alright, let's see what chat is said in text.
The Foxo is very tired. He is eepy. The Foxo has had a oh very long goodness. day of swiping eggies and wants to I take just a small sleep. Fox. He eebie and neebies to sleepy. I am in fact. Funk I'm sleepy sorry. I'm, and need I'm bed texting by time. you back and then also the I'm like is cleaning experiencing my ear. My ears levels of being a sleepy little guy and needs to go to bed. I have a wax build up in my ear. I always get them. So I'm just a little sleeping out. time is a treat. My bad. Funks Yonksy <laughs> needs to slack for tired boyo. Just a little guy. Another thing people Foxo, don't notice Oxo, Oxo, needs <laughs> usually is like the wax Look at him go. Ears. He well, my ears get insanely itchy, so sleepy. I have to like clean them out Nine every time. day. Good night, Mr. And I've been live all day, so um, just cleaning it out. Boop, boop. All right. Hopefully my cat won't try to steal that Q-tip. Um, also, if you get clogged ears like I do, please invest in something like Cleanear. Uh, I don't like dropping brand names, but like I don't know what they're actually called, and I believe Cleanear is the only one that sells them. But they're these little like scoops um, that are meant to scoop out earwax. Uh, please get them. They're much better than a Q-tip. Um, what I do is I clean them out with the Cleanear, like my ears, and then I will clean off the cleanier with a q-tip and then disinfect them with like rubbing alcohol and shit um because you can just disinfect them um i just soak them for like a day and then like buy new ones like monthly um so do invest if you get messy ears like i do because it's a lot better. If you're going to clean out your ears, it's much better to do it that way than it is to do it with a Q-tip. Okay, look, listen, 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 listen. Cats fucking love eating earwax. I'm telling you this right now. If you don't have a cat, this is going to sound fucking weird. Cats love earwax. I mean it. I'm, I'm being very, very serious. Cats love earwax. There's a protein in earwax that cats cannot get enough of, and they will fucking wolf it down like a five-year-old at Thanksgiving with a turkey or mashed potatoes or mac and cheese. I promise you, cats love earwax. It's so weird. Look it up. I, I promise you'll find videos. If your cat ever is like sniffing inside your ear, licking your ears, rifling through the trash after you clean your ears, it's because it's trying to get a nice, nice sip of that fucking sweet, sweet ear goop. Like, it's gross. It's very weird. <laughs> That's got to be evolutionary to their clean. <laughs> Yeah, really, though. Cats are wild. Uh, I just came back after my phone disconnected me and heard about sniffing and slurping my ear. Cats! Cats! Cats and their obsession with fucking earwax. That's what I was talking about. I was talking about cats and their love of earwax for some fucking reason. Cats love earwax. It's weird. It's really, really weird. I'm just speedrunning this level. Why do these crocodiles look this way? Alright, here we go! Alright, complete the sign! Yay! <laughs> Give me so much money! Kirby is the sign. 
<laughs> I love it. But yeah, no, cats cats will literally chew on Q-tips if you're not careful. It's gross. It's not bad for them, though. Like, they won't get sick if they do it, as far as I know. Um, but just be wary. If you don't want to find Q-tips spattered about, know that you got to keep them away from your cat. Because they'll just chow down. And they won't even give a shit either. They'll just do it anyway. Sent a picture? All right, I'll go look. Um. Oh, those look so nice. Oh, those are so cute. Oh, and they're cheap. New pants. New pajamas. Nice. Excuse me. I love me new pajama pants. All right, hammer. I do love sweaters. I need more sweaters. Oh god. There we go. Oh shit. We got this. I don't know if we got it, but <laughs> God damn it. Dude, I love the Menhara aesthetic. Like the Menhara clothes. I, yeah, honestly, Minhara clothes, the thing about them is that, weren't they, like, the style coined for people who were, uh, who struggled with mental health and physical health issues? Like, wasn't that the whole point of the Minhara style, if I remember correctly? Yeah, which is part of the reason why I want to get into it as well. Because I am disabled. Come on, give it to me. No! <laughs> I will do it! I will get this one! Honestly, that's fair.
Did I do it? I don't think so, but I might. Oh! <laughs> Two seconds! Okay. I'm so close. I got this. Also, I'm very glad your phone cord works well. That's great to hear. Oh, uh, now I gotta try again. Oh yeah, no, I definitely missed that one. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, that would be fun. I wouldn't mind having an outfit change for that. I just would love, um, I would just love a model that's able to reflect days when I'm not feeling too good. <laughs> so that way people know if like I might be testy or kind of more low energy. Because that's part of the reason why sometimes I just don't stream on specific days. It's like I have the ability to stream, but sometimes I just don't have the energy to put up the whole like um, persona, you know? And I feel bad streaming when people are expecting that. Um, so having, like, an outfit change that could reflect that, that, hey, I'm doing less than stellar today, but I still want to stream because streaming helps me feel better in those situations. So not streaming kind of actually kills me, um, and is worse on my mental health, but, like, I don't know. I want to find a way non-verbally to communicate that, hey, I'm feeling not great, um, and so my performance may suffer. My attitude may be a little lower and more uh, low energy. <laughs> Make an asset that's an ouchie mu meter. That'd be cute. Um, for now, it would be. But I might just like... Switch over to... I might put that as part of my overlay, though. Um, but I might just, like, actually have a model for it. Because, like, I want a wheelchair model anyway. Excuse me. Like, I would love a wheelchair version of my model. So maybe I'll put it as part of that. Because I do use a wheelchair, like, all the time. Um, I use a wheelchair and a walker as mobility aids whenever I go out for more than fucking five minutes. Like, if I'm not just running to the pet store to grab something for my snake real fast, then I... chances are I am, um... Uh, using a wheelchair or a walker. Oh, did I make it? Hell yeah. Um But yeah, uh Let's go. But yeah, casual fit Ramses I think would be cute. Um I like that. Um I did that one. Thor treasure. 
This one has one minute on it. <sighs> Sigh. Not for any reason. I just had a had to breathe out all the air in my lungs. Okay, hold on. I feel like I need a charge attack for this. <laughs> Okay, hold on. It's just stand in the middle, pretty much. Let everything come to you. Oh, pff. okay, maybe not like that. <laughs> um, but no, casual fit Ramsey seems fun. Maybe I'll talk to my artist about it. Why, hello, Dusk Flame. Give me one second. I'm in the middle of a challenge. So I can't fully read everything. Nice. There we go. Did I do it? I don't know if I did. I forgore? What did I forgore? What did I forgore, Dus Dusk Flame? Did I forgore something? Why well, forgore? We'll go back. Try that again. Oh, Corby for gore. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> All right. Wah. All right, cool. Come on, and that, yeah. Nice. Cool. Up, 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 up. Also, hello, Dust Flame. How are you doing today? I don't know if I got it fast enough, though. Ah, I gotta do it again. Damn, I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. You're good? Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad. Um, Hope you're having a good afternoon. Or morning, depending on what time it is. Or night, if it's nighttime for you. Boop! Yeah, the timelines can be hurt. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty difficult. Struggle bussing. It's okay. I got it. I, it'll, it'll be fine.
There we go. Hell yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! 57 seconds. Nice. Proud of that one. That one was a little, little, little bit of a, a doozy. Not too bad, though. Still not as bad as the stairs one. We're going to have to practice speedrunning strats to get it. <laughs> but I got it. I got it. Um... Slorp. Drink with Kai. Nice. Um, okay. So, let's move on to Concrete Isles. Excuse me. Also, let me check to see if anyone had any point redeems that I missed. Oh, Jay redeemed Hydrate and Stretch that I did not see. Alright, I hydrated. And stretch. <laughs> can I... Let's see if I can get my um, shoulder to pop. <sighs> okay. There we go. Feel a little better now. I definitely needed a stretch. <sighs> Thank you, Jay. Um, octopus. Great three seabirds. You mean beat them with my hammer? There we go. What is that? Nice. There they go. Ugh. Snatch that. Oh no. And into the sky it goes. Come here. No! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Hell yeah, four. Give me a star. Ooh. Coins! Oh, I love free money. Hey, yo, a Waddle Dee! Alright, I found one of four missing Waddle Dees. That's nice. Is there a bird over here? I'm looking around to make sure there are no birds in the vicinity. Because I feel like there would be. I've already gone around this way. There's so many whirlpools. For what? Alright. Let's come over here. Oh, is this level going to give me another Deku Nut challenge? No. I was really hoping, because the Deku Nut challenges are fun. Oh, oh, sorry. Knock, knock, nut. Not Deku Nut. Hell yeah! Oh. Drill! Oh. 
Nut, yeah, really. Nut. Uh, wait. <laughs> whirlpool, uh, there are so many whirlpools because Kirby is experiencing the karma of sucking all of his enemies up. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's okay, he's, he's doing fine. He's doing, he's doing mighty well for himself. Look at him go. Is this, is this inverted controls? It is. Why? <laughs> Oh, that's neat. Then I can just circle around. Hey, yo, real shit. Oh, fuck. No, Corb. Hell yeah. All right. I don't know how I feel about the drill, but... <laughs> you just... <laughs> oh no. Uh, enter the whirlpool on the corner. Which corner? Over here? This one? This whirlpool? No, not that one. Wrong one. Left. Okay. I got two seabirds. Let me beat this guy up real quick. There. Ah, oh, shit. I have no health. Oh, dear. I won't take that warp star yet. Greet that bird. Hell yeah, I greeted three seabirds. Oh shit. Hmm. This whirlpool over here? This one? No, I don't think it's that one. Oh. Oh yeah, food. <laughs> I'm not dying as much anymore. More down? Okay. On my way. I'm very curious about where, where you're taking me. I'm assuming not this one. It is on a corner, and it is to the left. If it's a yes, then just say yes. If it's a no, then I'll move on. Or this one. Not that one? Is it this one? Oh, cracked my neck. That one? Okay, awesome. Cool! <laughs> Mini world! Cone Corby! Alright, boys. We platforming with fucking Cone Bee. Hey, yo! 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> Cone B, and off we go. All right. So we've gone through there. Thank you, Dust Claim. Excuse me. Ignore me burping. I promise I don't mean to. It's it's a GERD moment. I, I swear. Hell yeah. Mouthful mode! This is so fucking funny! What the hell? Nice! I'm missing one. But I don't know where it is. I bet it's right there. There it is. Hell yeah. I was like, I bet, I bet it's over here. <laughs> and then somehow managed to find it immediately. I'm just crazy like that. That's all. All right, onward. And off we go. Hell yeah. Secret star. Ooh. <gasps> hey, yo. <laughs> Hello, Grizz. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, poor Kirby. Poor Kirby's been flattened. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Why is it the same? Oh! <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Manager Leon. Where are you getting these subs from? <laughs> Didn't you just sub? <laughs> or did it refresh for the month? Again, arms on the side. Weird. Gris, shush! <laughs> Stop it with your Kirby titties, okay? <laughs> You're crazy. You're delusional. Kirby doesn't... They're nubs. They're his little hands. Uh, we pay for it, but uh, refreshed. Oh, nice. That's wonderful. Thank you for always supporting. I appreciate it. Dick up a Maxim tomato. Grab. This gives you the prompt for it until you do it, regardless of the building cycle. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, how about that? I missed a waddle D. No! Make landfall on the Isle of Treasure. The fuck is that? A random Corby. Cappy. 
A woofie, my favorite. Scale the cement summit. We're gonna go back and do this one again because I want those other two waddle dees. And a challenge unlocked. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do it again. Alright, we have to save one more hidden waddle dee and make landfall on the Isle of Treasure, which is somewhere. Uh, goodness knows if I know where that is. I don't fully know where the last Twaddle D is, though. Also, I kind of hate the dig ability. I'm gonna be very transparent. Let them do what they're doing. Oh, no! Gimme. Nice. Give. Mid dig and the waddle dees come up. Nice. There we go. Give me my fucking money. Shit. Stop hitting me. Gotcha bone. Hell yeah, health. Now I gotta look around for this treasure aisle. Nice. Sad. A sad moment for the Corb. Gotcha, boy! Granted, I have everything in Series 1, so that doesn't really matter for me, but... Yay! Can I let me in? <laughs> nice. F for the nut. I know, it's so sad. I really wanted that nut, too. There we go. Yay! 
Nice. Mouthful. Okay, I got that one open. And that should lift up that one. Okay. Oh, there's a... <gasps> I could just... Hmm? <laughs> I could just kind of come over here? Really? <laughs> That's great. Hey, yo! Hell yeah. That was easy. I'll leave the little awoofy, awoofy over there. The awoofy can stay. They're cute. Nice. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I sneeze a lot if you hadn't noticed. Woo! And we've been flattened. Thank you, Grizz! <laughs> oh my gosh, I sneeze so often. We need more alternative phrase to bless you. It just, just, just to be inclusive. I feel uncomfortable saying bless you because I know it's like a Catholic originating phrase and I'm not Catholic. So it makes me a little uncomfortable to say it. <laughs> as weird as it sounds. Hell yeah. Curse you. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> it won't do much. Looks like they finished a new building. Yeah, okay, let's go look. I'm not religious, but blessed to me is more of a well-wishing. That's totally valid. And also being non-religious, totally valid as well. <laughs> hey, yo, cafe. Cafe mini game? Uh, Waddle D Cafe. How fancy. Wonder what's on the menu. Isn't there like a? Isn't this a cafe mini game though? Help wanted. Yes. I knew there was a cafe mini game. I was like, isn't there a cafe mini game? Say, what do you think of the the beast cat? The beast pack wants for the wants the Waddle Dees for it anyway. I had just gotten to know all of them when the pack arrived and started capturing everyone. We're far from the beast's territory, so we thought building a town here would keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. Exqueeze your your sneeze. Shove soul back into nose, not today, bitch. <laughs> I know that uh, Gesundheit is a thing uh, that's German, and I believe, if I remember correctly, it just means health. Like, that's all it means is health. Now that the Waddle Dee Cafe is open, we're looking for some high, some... Looking to hire some help. It's just a part-time gig. I don't suppose you're looking to start a career in food service, are you, Kirby? Not particularly, but I will. Um, solo gig. Easy gig. 
All right, we're servicing food, guys. Select the right item. All right. The customer satisfaction level gets too low to be game over. Try not to keep them waiting for too long. When the lunch rush hits, the speed will increase. Serve as many correct orders as you can to try and earn a high score. Hell yeah. Oh no. We got this. Nice. Lunch rush. Oh, shit. Cool. <laughs> Total serve 36. Nice. 100% customer satisfaction. Cool. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hustle gig and frenzy gig. I did so well that I got both hustle and frenzy. All right. Let's try. Let's try hustle. Oh god, not the cake. Why does the cake look like that? I hate it. Oh no. Lunch rush already? Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh, so close. <laughs> Nice! Okay. We did pretty good. Select difficulty. Let's try the hardest one now. Oh no, not the Kirby burgers! Okay, but that burger looks fucking delicious. I'm not even gonna lie. That burger looks so good. Oh no. Lunch rush. Damn, I actually did pretty good. Hell yeah! I cannot get any higher than 23 consecutive. <laughs> That's what I'm learning about here. <laughs> okay. And this gig. We did pretty good, I think. Thanks for hard work, Kirby. I hope you can help us out again soon. Kirby, may I speak with you for a second? You've been helping us a lot Luddy, lately. It's a tough gift, but you even handled Frenzy like a pro. So, uh... We'd like to have, like, for you to have the special figure and all our deepest thanks. Ready? Here it comes. Thanks. Nice. Oh, that's so cute. Cafe staff Kirby. Kirby's taken on a side gig at the counter of the Waddle Dee Cafe. He's dressed like a focused employee, but he's secretly fighting the urge to gobble up each dish himself. This might be his greatest struggle yet. Stay strong, Kirby. You got this, buddy. 
Oh, this is cute. Oh, hey, yo. And I just like... Ooh, there's a secret over here. This place has gotten much livelier now that the townsfolk are finding their way back. Excuse me, the other wildlies said they really appreciate your help, Kirby. I'm always ready to help too. If you need a second player, just let me know from the pause menu. Got it. All right, now I gotta... Um... Welcome to the Lolly Cafe, the coziest little bistro in town. You can grab a bite here and recover health. We sell all kinds of tasty treats. Think you'll need a snack later on? You can order food here and take it on the go. You'll bring that to-go order into stages as a stock item. Then you can save it until you're in a pinch. You can only carry one stock item at a time, though. Just keep that in mind. So, Kirby, what can I get you? Um... Uh, take it to go. I have a stock item now. Hell yeah. I've always just said the German phrase for it, which literally means good health. That's what I thought it did. Um, also, I have to use the bathroom again. I know, surprising Ramsey is having a weak bladder. No, not in my Kirby playthrough. So I'm going to go for like five minutes, put us on the BRB screen so you guys can listen to some tunes. And I'll be right back after using the bathroom. Thank you guys for understanding. I'll see you in a bit.
So a little less than, uh, <laughs> than, uh, oops, a little less than, uh, five minutes, but I, I really had to pee. Um, but I'm back now. <laughs> Thank you guys for your patience, uh, for my weak bladder. And apologies that I have such a weak one. All right, hammer. Thrill. Sleep. Oh, I'm upgrading the sleep one. Oh, I can't upgrade it yet. Okay, so wait, rapid fire? Oh, I wish I could upgrade them, but I can't. It's so unfortunate. Um. Okay. That's fine. Off we go. Okay. Um We finished this one. Oh my goodness. Oh, holy shit. I'm moving. I'm shooting. Drill. All right, we got 1 minute and 10 seconds that we could do this one. I think we can do it. Oh, I see. Okay. Hold on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, I just have to shave 10 seconds off. That seems like it's relatively easy. I don't like the drill. Drill ability, though. I will be honest. I think it's kind of bad. <laughs> Yippee! Oh, you're almost done with work, Chattanoobus. You'll be home soon. How exciting.
I feel like I have to try again already. Yeah. I send you new art. Ooh, I will check out after stream. Thank you, Grizz. I'm so excited to see it. Your art's always really pretty. Your art is a joy to look at. All right, Sh moving. No, I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie about something like that. <laughs> I don't like lying in the first place. If I don't like something, I'm very transparent about it. Just ask my artist. <laughs> uh, not the one that made my model, but uh, the one that makes all my other assets. <laughs> I'm very vocal about when I don't like something. <laughs> uh, Cause like, I don't like lying to people. Even if it like saves their feelings, I don't like doing it. It makes me feel yucky and stinky. Um, I don't know. I would say 100 by 100. Unless it's from like a s outside site like Jiffy. I know you can't. It's hard to be like proud of your stuff, especially when you've been put down a lot in your life. And that's okay. It's fair. All right, we're going to try that again. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're moving. But I don't know if that was it, but we can see. Yeah, no. <laughs> 10 seconds have to be a good uh, 13 seconds need to be taken off of that. We can do it. I, I believe in us. Maybe I need to make a bunch of little circles instead of big ones. Other than for stuff like this one where it's very clear that like one big circle is better. There we go. There we go. 
<laughs> it worked! <laughs> Was that good enough? Oh, shit! I know where I fucked up, though, so... I'm gonna... <laughs> this is gonna work, I promise. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah. Okay, I think that was a minute and two seconds. Hell yeah! All right! My cat is playing with the bell ball. <laughs> Ignore her. Don't mind her. Okay, um... Okay, we got all the treasure islands for this area. I don't remember how many worlds are in this one. I think it's four. Excuse me. Okay. Everbay. Scale the cement summit. Gotta be getting near the near the end. Open. Hello, second. Hi, second. Yeah. Being a little cutie. Being a little nightmare. My cat is being a menace. Stop it. Don't be a menace. Don't paw me. Oh, we're back to removing wanted posters, eh? Clutter Needle Blueprint. They have my favorite kind of coffee in tiny cans. I have the unit price 8 for 8 and I have a mighty urge. Um. Why don't you take a picture of it so that way when we have the funds to acquire it, we can get it for you. Or order it online. You are immediately condemned to Adland. Oh no. Yeah. Do that. Sekam, please stop. 
Second. Snatch. Um, but no, I would just, uh, take a picture of it. And then we'll just order it online when we have the funds to do so. Because we kind of don't really have the funds right now. For much. The Switch did not like those rocks. <laughs> did not render those rocks properly. It is hidden. Okay, good. Ice. My friend. Him, I swear. Yeah. Tornado. Chicken. Oh, that's that's weird. we go that was a twirly twirl what if i grabbed tyson's p no. <laughs> what spooky nuggets i don't really want chicken nuggets though uh, you remember what i said about chicken nuggets and how i'm not too fond of them fun fact i'm not a big fan of chicken nuggets i i mean i don't dislike them i just don't love them, you know I'm more of a, like, chicken strip slash tender type person. Yeah, I want chicken tenders, not chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets and chicken tenders are two completely different things. And don't even try to tell me that they're the same, because they're not! Chicken tenders are a completely different thing from chicken nuggets! <laughs> chicken nugget is ground up chicken parts. Not even necessarily breast meat, it's just usually breast meat. It's ground up into like a fine paste. Chicken tenders, on the other hand, are battered and fried, or just like... Uh fried sometimes they're just fried with like panko or something um bits of breast and then you can like peel them and eat them and they're like finger food you don't have to use their a fork or anything the chicken nuggets and chicken tenders are different i don't hate chicken nuggets i'm just not super fond of them they're less of a safe food for me and more of like a, a lazy food if that makes sense so, like, I don't always want them, because they're not a safe food. Oh no. Oh god, what is this? What the fuck am I doing? 
You're right, I am a, a strip. But yeah, chicken nuggets are fine. They're just, I don't want them right now. I don't want them today. Oh, I missed one. Fuck! I want to retry that. Because I missed a, a Waddle Dee <laughs> Kirby Flight Simulator. Yeah, really? Um, although, shouldn't we save chicken tendies for Tuesday when it's our advertiser day? Or do we just want to do something even lazier than chicken tendies? It's up to y'all. I don't even care. Like, y'all do what, what y'all do. So long as there's food on the table that won't make me sick, I don't care. <laughs> Hell, I'd, I'd be willing to have tacos tonight. I don't care. Okay. I mean, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you guys do you. <laughs> I don't care. Again, so long as it's food that I can eat, I don't care. I'm chill. I just request no nugs, because to be frank, I nugs aren't that tasty to me. And I don't want to slather them in homophobic chicken sauce. Ah, I see. Ha ha! I was about to miss it. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's hanging out with... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me explain the homophobic chicken sauce. Uh, homophobic chicken sauce. It's Chick-fil-A sauce. Because uh, Chick-fil-A is a homophobic company. And so we have Chick-fil-A sauce. Um, or at least they've expressed homophobic views. I don't know if they're s homophobic anymore. I would like to think they are. Because they haven't changed much as a company. But they're like one of those like... If you don't know, uh, Chick-fil-A is run by Christian folk, and if you don't know, there's like this huge uh, narrative that, you know, uh, the Bible says being gay is wrong when it doesn't, but they're, they're saying it does. <laughs> so uh, Chick-fil-A is like, yeah, we believe that. <laughs> so the gays are wrong. We don't like the gays. We don't serve the gays and we don't hire the gays. So we call it homophobic chicken sauce. Um, and we're trying, we're currently trying to figure out how to make it on our own. So that way we don't have to buy it from them because we don't like them. We don't eat at their restaurant. We just like their sauce. So we're trying to figure out how to make it. Uh, but it's hard to procure the ingredients sometimes. So, um, uh, but we do know how to make their chicken and their fries, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> we don't eat there. <laughs> uh, yeah, they very much support homophobic legislation, exactly. Um, it's very sad because I love homophobic chicken, but I just can't. Yeah, same. I'm in the same boat. I am, in fact, homosexual, so I do not like homophobic chicken. I do not support homophobic chicken. At all. Well, I'm actually demisexual, but I have a preference. I, I have a I have a, a preference that I lean towards. Um 
Hobby Lobby. Yeah, that's another company that's like that. I don't support Hobby Lobby either. Also, Hobby Lobby jacks up their prices, even though you, you can find a lot of the same type of stuff, but higher quality elsewhere. Like Hobby Lobby shit breaks like on the first day. And allegedly, although this is my personal experience, anything that I've ever gotten from Hobby Lobby, from people who just didn't realize that Hobby Lobby was a very uh, homophobic and ableist company, um, everything that I've gotten from them has broken on like the first day. Um, so, you know, um, Omnigender, pan gray, sexual fucking mood. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo, good on you. <laughs> uh, the Waddle Dees re work really hard. I can't believe they rebuilt this town so quickly. Yes. Um, I think my identity, my gender and sexual identity is so fucking weird. Like, I am... By all intents and purposes, gender fluid, but like, I only really identify as a demi boy, if that makes sense. Like some days I could go by she, her pronouns, but for the most part, that's like a, a maybe once in a blue moon type situation. Um, most of the times though, I am he, him, or they, them, um, mostly he, him, um, are they them? Like, I just, I hop between, I would say, like, um, 45% of the time I'm they, them, 45% of the time I am he, him, and the remainder I am she, her. Um, but even then, like, if, if I'm currently in, like, the I feel like a they, them kind of situation where it's like, I don't feel like I have a gender. I feel like I don't have an identity there. Uh, if somebody uses he, him, I don't really care. But if somebody uses she, her in those situations, oh, that riles me up. It ruffles my feathers. It makes me kind of upset. It, like, genuinely makes me a little upset. I'm like, please stop. Take a step back. Like, I won't say anything, but it does frustrate me. Um... Yeah, I don't feel like a she usually. It's very rare that I feel like a she. I mean, sometimes I enjoy being perceived as feminine. Because, like, I believe that traditionally, quote unquote, feminine traits are just healthy traits to have. Uh, like the idea of being in touch with your emotions and more sensitive and more logical. Those are technically perceived as feminine traits. And I feel like those traits are just healthy traits. So in some respects, I'm like, oh, I kind of want to be perceived as feminine. But in most cases, I want to be perceived as mask or gender non-conforming. Um, that's kind of where I am. As for sexuality, I am demisexual, but like, I have a preference for <laughs> uh, not feminine presenting people usually like obviously clothes is different like i don't perceive clothes as feminine or masculine so like obviously if it's a mask presenting individual but they wear a dress that's fine i don't that's cool i don't really mind that i wear dresses i like dresses i think they're comfy <laughs> um but like it's more about their own gender identity and how they perceive themselves and how they uh show themselves kind of it's like mask more is what i lean towards or like gender non-conforming i don't really find super like i can look at a girl and be like oh you're pretty you're beautiful i think you're you're really nice but i could never like be super attracted i feel like i feel like i'm more likely to be attracted to somebody who's mask presenting than i am someone who's femme presenting it's not off the table it's just I can tell that it's a lot easier for me to be drawn to somebody mask presenting than somebody who's femme presenting, if that makes sense. It's a little confusing, I know. I'm, I'm really weird, but and it's very niche, but that's just kind of how I am. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you have a very pretty lilting laugh. That's the only femme thing I've felt about you. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um, I just think... I, my laugh was actually stolen from TV and movies. I, a lot of my kind of, um, uh, 
behavior and mannerisms have actually been taken from, because I'm autistic, have been taken from other people or other forms of media. So my laugh is actually borrowed. I don't remember where, but it's borrowed from a TV show. If I watch the TV show, I could probably tell you that that's the one, but it's it's taken from a show. Um, so I'm mimicking a character from a show. I don't remember which one, though. Um, I'll go back to you on that. Uh, <laughs> laugh. Fuck you. <laughs> it's no less you, bestie. Thank you. Uh, is that a clutter needle blueprint? I want to make that. Give me, give me. <laughs> All right, let me get my tools ready. Then we'll get this evolution started. I bet. Um, but yeah, if you ever wonder, uh, thanks for wondering the needle ability can now be evolved into clutter needle. Thank you. Uh, if you're ever wondering like my specific setup, that's, that's kind of what it is. And I don't even fully know if that is me. It's just kind of where I sit right now. Cause like, it's hard. Oh God, I hate that. <laughs> it's hard to know what you are. I fucking hate this. I hate this hat. I hate this. This makes me mad. I don't like clutter needle. Um, Kerbo 64 reference. Is it? Is it really? I don't remember. Um, shit always changes and it's always that. I agree. That's like, I was watching um, a discussion the other day uh, about queer baiting. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, uh, it's complicated. But I was watching a discussion about that and I was like, how do we know when somebody is queer baiting and when they're just unsure? You know, because shit changes. People's... Uh, like people, it's not that their identity changes, like usually it stays the same, but they just don't know. It's hard to weed out who you truly are. Like it's very difficult to know who you are in comparison to who you are not. It's very difficult and you sometimes you can only know after you've done it for a while and then been like, no, this isn't working for me, you know? Um, and that's valid like that's why like uh gender expression and stuff is important and why i never understood why if like you know let's say somebody came up to you and was like hey i think i might be this like oh i think i might be trans why it isn't so hard to just like let them identify that way for a minute like let them go by those pronouns for a minute and let's see if they 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 feel more at home that way and if they don't then inform them that it's always okay if they decide they they don't identify that way you know i never understood it otherwise it, it never made a lot of sense to me I mean, it took four decades before i had a clue yeah like that's valid <laughs> i'm glad that you have a little bit more of a clue now but that's like i um obviously I have some form of family <laughs> and there have been kids in my extended family who were like, oh, I identify as X, Y, Z. And a lot of people would be like, oh, leave the children out of the gender discussion. But I think that's like counterintuitive. Like let the children experiment with their gender identity. Like you're not operating on them at fucking 10 years old, you know, but let them test out the pronoun, you know, see if that's what they want and if for like they never change their mind before they turn 18 they're like no i'm happy this way this feels so much more affirming then all right that's their decision they're 18 they could go for it good on them you know that's kind of like how i sit about it um explore your gender identity explore your sexual identity explore your identity it's part of the discussion and if you're like a, uh, if you are growing up in a, a more um, conservative environment, you're never going to be able to ex like experiment with that. So you won't be able to figure out who you want to be by the end of it. 
Um, that's what the big problem that a lot of people, including myself, have faced, where it's like, I didn't know who I was because I had to suppress who I was all my life due to, like, toxic family situations. So, you know, and it's not my fault. Like, it's their fault. And now because of it, it's coming out of the blue. And they're like, why do you identify this way? And it's like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's your fault. <laughs> like, you could have known forever ago and you didn't. You could have made the adjustment ages ago, but you didn't because you decided that you would rather um, not have the discussion, you know? Not express that, hey, this is a thing that could happen. And so you sit there and you think, oh, yeah, it's normal to hate everything about yourself. And it's like, no, it's not. There's something wrong there. You got to, like, investigate who you are a bit to figure out what it is that you don't like and then to change it. Um, because you can be a person that you're happy with. Like, you can love yourself. It's not impossible. There, it's just a lot of times it's either one of two things. Either it's self-image issues, and that can be remedied with you know mental help, uh, and like psychology and psychiatry and all that fun stuff, all that good stuff. Um, going to get some medical help. Um. But then also it can be dealt with via, you know, other situations like, um, I don't know if I'm going the right way, but we can. Oh, hell yeah. I just, I just fucked around and managed to do it. <laughs> nice. Um, or so it can be helped with like getting mental health help like going to a therapist or it can be helped by just experimenting with your identity whether you feel like mask or femme or um or you know uh this identity or that identity bisexual demisexual pansexual yada 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 uh, even, like, your religious ideals can play a part in your self-image issues. Let me tell you, like, um, until I, I figured out which, like, uh, kind of moral belief system, which way I leaned and everything, until I figured that shit out, I also didn't like myself. <laughs> until I figured out, like, how I wanted to deal with the concept of, like, that sort of stuff. Um... Cause, like that's something you have to think about like how do you hold yourself morally what is moral to you what isn't moral to you and that's another conversation that you have to have oh <laughs> whoopsie um i feel like what am i going for here What are those stairs for? They're for nothing. Also, I saw your message, chat Nubus. I'll, I'll be there in a second. Hold on. Um. Okay, uh... I met some really lovely people that made me feel like it's okay to be other than mask. Yeah, that's good. I'm really glad. Uh, feel free to be to to experiment with your gender identity with in any regard. Like whether it be with me or with uh, Perito or with literally anybody. Feel free to just experiment and test and and figure out what you want to be, you know? Because that's something that I feel like everybody should take time to figure out, you know? And it's okay for some people if they don't want to do that, and that's all right. But otherwise, I think it's okay to just try things out and just experiment, like, you know? Um, This isn't new. I just never felt... Facts! I never felt safe enough to tell you. Facts. Um, uh, I forgot that the portal has a different time. Yeah, I figured it is. So I missed the first one, and the next one is closer to four. I'll try and get you. Um, but also, I might not be able to. 
Uh, the Jenner thing with me actually started when my wife was complaining that I had prettier nails than her. So I painted them. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Uh, <laughs> most affirming thing I've ever experienced. Oh, that's so sweet. I can just chill and watch you. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, and that's so sweet, Grizz. Um, but no, like, that's another thing too. Like, can we also additionally, on top of everything, stop like turning everything into a gendered experience? That's another thing too. Like, there's been this whole thing where it's like, oh, only um, mask people or this type of mask person can paint their nails. Like, for example, that's a big thing. And I'm like, no, anyone can paint their nails. Painting nails is not exclusive to one person or another. Anyone can paint their nails. Nails are just fun to paint. Like, if you, like, I identify as mask most of the time, right? We all know this. I've, I've kind of just said it. Um, but, like, I'll paint my fucking nails. <laughs> I don't give a shit if that's traditionally femme. I'll paint my nails anyway, you know? Oh shit. Just because I want to paint my nails, you know? Shit, I, I missed something. My B. Like, I don't understand why dresses are gendered. I don't understand why nails are gendered. I don't... I don't understand any of that. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, I never got that. You know? Like, it's okay to associate it with, like, oh, pretty stuff, which is traditionally feminine. But, like, come on. It's okay. Mask people can be pretty, too. Mask people can paint their nails. And not have to feel like it's like a necessity. I'm going through the sewers. Whee! <laughs> Snatch! Um. I missed, I missed the waddle dee. Won the battle without falling in the water. What battle? Which battle? What battle? What battle? Um, so I'm gonna redo that level. Uh. Uh. Uh, I am very comfortable right now. I am me and that's it. Pronouns are something that are there for other people. I'm okay with however people want to think of me. Oh, that's a good way of looking at it, Grizz. I love that. That's such a sweet way of looking at it. Um, I identify as pandemic menace and guys with eyeliner are hot. That's, <laughs> that's a good way of, of looking at it. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the posture check. Uh, no more shrimp. No more shrimp Ramses. Um... That's why I like Grizz. Grizz is a bit mask. Bella is a bit femme. It gives people the freedom to think of me how they want, but it's still me. Aw, that's very nice. Um, last time I tried eyeliner, my eyes swelled shut. You might want to. You might want to get tested for allergens, or uh, get checked for that, because that's uh, that's not good. <laughs> um, oh, did the arena unlock yet? I can check. I got the Tropical Terror. I don't think I... Uh... I can check if I... I don't think it did. I actually used to have a claw finger armor back in the day. Ooh. Um... 
It is a very pretty name. I agree. Also, claw finger armor. Very nice. Alright, let's go in here. Whoa, is that a chain bomb blueprint? I want to make that. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> Alright, let me get my tools ready. Sweet. Bomb. Hell yeah. I'll take chain bomb. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Makes me think of acid man. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll because I think I'm only halfway through the game. Fucking Jackal, he's trying to raise you up. <laughs> I think I'll finish uh, this world. I'll do the passive stuff um, and then maybe I'll stop for today. I don't know, though. I don't know how long. Oop, I bumped my mic. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Spatial awareness is a bitch. My B. My B, everybody. Hope it wasn't too loud. Um, But no, the reason why I might stop a little earlier than what I plan to do is because uh, I haven't had time after my debut to fix my model. <laughs> um... And so I kind of want to do that real quick. Um, uh, but if not, then... Oh, oh, I destroyed a sand sculpture. If not, then I might just uh, take off tomorrow um, from streaming. Uh, instead of streaming tomorrow like I was going to. Um, I still have yet to post my schedule because I'm going to go get free food on Labor Day. Uh, so I won't have time to stream because it'll be a, a during the time I stream. Um, but I never turned out, if you ever want to convince me to go to some place, tell me that I'll get free dinner out of it. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be there, I'll be there, I promise. <laughs> I've had people legitimately be like, hey, um, if you come to this thing, I'll DoorDash you food. Like, if you come to this online thing, I'll DoorDash you food. And I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> Free food is so good. <laughs> we stand free food. There we go. <gasps> no! I fell! <gasps> I gotta try it again now. Uh, this was a couple of years ago. This was- this was a while back. Um... So don't even- don't- don't even worry about it. But no, um, I haven't gotten around to uh, fixing my model yet. And there's a couple things that are like, that I forgot to put under the correct. Okay. So how rigging works is that uh, things move. Obviously you have to edit the meshes to get them to move. And when they don't move, um, you got to make them move. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, sometimes you can cheat your way through it by putting them on specific, uh, warp deformers is what they're called. So that way they get moved around with other things. Um, and other times you just gotta make your own for them. Because there's a limit to how many things you should put under one warp deformer. Somebody will, somebody in the rigging community is gonna kill me for spewing their secrets. But, uh, <laughs> um... So, you know, 
it, I forgot to put my facial emotion things, like my tears and stuff. Well, not my tears, but my gloom expression, my tremble lines, all that stuff. I forgot to put it under the face deformer. Uh, so that way it moves with my face. I forgot to do that. So they don't move with my face and it's super frustrating because it doesn't look good. Like it doesn't look bad, but like people are gonna notice after a while, you know what I mean? So I gotta fix that. I gotta fix my tears. My hair physics aren't working right. They're supposed to be more bouncy. But they're not working how they're supposed to, so I gotta fix them. Hope that didn't count. There. Yay! It counted. Um, so I gotta do that. I feel like art should be more open for everyone to learn. I agree. I agree. Here's the thing. There will always be people willing to pay for my ringing services. Like always, 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 always. There will never be a time when somebody won't need my, uh, my ability to rig. There won't be a time. Like there just won't be. But that doesn't mean I, I have to like, I don't have to hide how it works, you know? Like, that's something that, that I really hate with, um, riggers nowadays. They're like, oh, I refuse to give you the file with the ringing meshes in it. I refuse to do all that stuff. And it's like, all you're doing is making it a lot harder for somebody else to fix your mistake. What you are doing is you are forcing somebody to bend to your whim and if you fuck up something they can't fix it they'll have to redo the whole thing all for what so that way they don't steal your tips the things that everybody else has already figured out the shit that like everybody's already kind of gotten solved like that's why even though you know it doesn't fucking matter because people could just look at your ring and tell tell what you did if they know how the program works. Because like that's happened a number of times where I've been working on rigging stuff and I was like, okay, I just kind of need to figure out how other people are doing this. And I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, I know exactly how they did this. Like, come on. And then I'll be like, oh, and I know how to make it better too. And it's like, and the, these are the same people that are like, oh, and I won't give you the file that has the rigging information on it. And it's like, why? For what? For what What purpose? You're not hiding it from anyone. You're hiding it from the client and that's it. And and for what reason? Because you, you feel insecure that somebody's going to be taking your work? Absolutely not. I, I can take your work by just looking at it. Come on. You're not doing anything special. You're doing stuff that's been in the community for a while. And now I have my own like rigging tips and tricks that I do. And that people will look at me and be like, oh, Ramsey's has a very unique rigging style yeah because of how i rig things it's be not because i know anything special it's because i'm fucking autistic <laughs> like and i have a very specific way i like how things look because i'm trying to make it accessible for other people with autism <laughs> like my rigging style is literally accessible with autism that is it like uh, an autistic person is able to read the expressions on my rigs and that's it that's it i just think about them that's all <laughs> like <laughs> I'm not doing anything special. People can mimic my shit very easily. <laughs> like my mouth forms. I've gotten people been like, oh, yeah, your mouth forms are very unique. You want to know why they're so unique? Because I'm fucking autistic. <laughs> I'm just autistic. It's like very easy for people to tell what mood I'm feeling by mouth forms. Because mouth forms are the main way autistic people tell how people are feeling. <laughs> It's like mouth forms and eye forms. Like that's that's the that's the things. Oh, I can shield. Hey yo. Uh, it's just it's really frustrating. I'm like, come on, and I'm not gonna name names because I don't want to. Um, but then then there's also people who like will spend like 20 hours on a model, right? And then they'll charge them. They'll charge for that model like 
eight thousand dollars and i'm like no i i am i get so mad when that shit happens like i'll look and i'll see the quality of the the model and i'm like that's not no i can do that in, in like a day and you're charging eight thousand for that no like hustle sure but that's not it doesn't match you're you're blowing up the market so everybody has to you know everybody expects that that's the price they should be charging when in actuality that's not it's not equal there's no fair value there like you're scamming people who can't afford to pay for it and jacking up the entire market in the process it's very frustrating but at the same time then there are people who will like work really hard and the price their models to be like three hundred dollars and i'm like please stop <laughs> like you are no better you are also pulling the value down um it's so bad i'd say like you should pay you should decide what your hourly should be and then figure out how long it takes you to rig a model for me it takes me like 50 hours to rig a model so I charge a thousand for mine because I pay myself twenty dollars an hour because twenty dollars is living wage here. Um, it allows me enough money to pay my bills, but also it allows me enough money to you know thrive and be able to live a comfy life, and that's kind of why I do it. Um, so feel like art should be yep, especially with AR art. Fuck AR art. <laughs> the client commissioned it. it pro probably because they can't exactly like learning it is a time constraint they're not going to steal anything facts facts that's like i'm the only rigger in the business that's willing to give the cmo3 file up and if you don't know what that is it's basically the file that you put in for uh live today that allows people to actually like see what the, what was done like it has all the meshes and the reason why is because let's say something doesn't work they can they can fix it like let's say uh live 2d updates right let's say they got their model like a year in the past okay and live 2d had an update and now certain meshes of their model aren't showing up well that way they can go in and i can walk them through easily without having to you know resort to like fixing their model for them um that way they can go in and change it how they want it to be changed Did I get the... No, now I have to do it again. But yeah, time constraint is definitely part of it. Like, it takes hours to rig a model. Um, I feel like this is why 3D VTube became a thing with V-Ride. I agree, but also V-Ride's been a thing since... I think... God, since Miku. Like, God. Uh, three, like, it hasn't been used in the same way, but, like, 3D VTubing has been a thing. It just hasn't been as popular. Um, the only problem, though, with 3D VTubing that I see is that I be 3D modeling is a lot harder, in my opinion, than live 2d personally on my my personal opinion but like i'm starting a tutorial series on youtube uh in like january is when i'm planning on starting after i get a couple more models in and i'm gonna ask some people for their permission to use their models as like a kind of starting point to like show off how to do these things um i want to get my new pc first and then i'm planning on making these like really nice high quality videos that walk people through how to do live 2d and i don't mean 
And I'm gonna be honest, some of the live 2D tutorials on YouTube are not great. <laughs> Actually, they're really bad. Um, if it weren't for the fact that I have experience with programs like Live 2D, I would not have understood a single fucking thing that anybody who did those Live 2D tutorials on YouTube that I saw. I wouldn't have been able to understand a single fucking thing. Because uh, I'm gonna be honest, some of them are a little uh, rough. And it's not their fault, you know, it's hard to explain that info. And again, the same um, kind of thing applies. Like, don't want to share that info. And that's all right, whatever. Um, so it's a bit of a challenge uh, to learn because the, the tutorials that there are tutorials, but the tutorials on there are either A, for people who already have a base knowledge of the program, or B, for people who don't have any knowledge of the program. There's nothing for intermediates. There's nothing for people who are, um, who learn through specific means, like through, uh, you know, um, through like, visual and talk or whatever um like more specialized learners there's nothing for them um it's just really frustrating and because of that i'm like i want to teach these people how to essentially do live 2d just as good as like a professional so they don't have to rely on like really expensive rigs, like, cause they shouldn't have to. Um, if they have the time, they could do it themselves. And if they don't have the time, okay, cool. Support small businesses then. Don't support like crappy businesses that are kind of not giving you your money's worth. You know what I mean? It's an expensive time to be alive. We don't need to be paying $8,000 for a rig that could take somebody 20 minutes. Like that's not chill. That's not cool. Um. It's unfortunate. It's it's really sad. It makes me kind of sick. Yeah, there's a demand for it. I agree. And the thing is, is the live 2D market is super fucking limited. Like, you, you get, like, one or two good riggers, and that's it? No. And, like, then the new guys that come around, it's like, are they a scam? Are they not a scam? What am I getting into? Like... It's super unfortunate. It makes me really mad. Um, what else do I need to do? Eat three tins of fish? I need to find the third tin. But yeah, so, um, I, speaking of Live 2D, I will be very, very kind of, uh, open about this. Um, the kind of, sh um, show how serious I am about this. Um, uh, with the Live 2D raffle as well, I'm very transparent about how I rig. I do plan on doing rigging live streams in the near future where people can just come in and be like, hey, I want to see how you rig this. I want to see, and they can just ask questions while I work on someone's model. And that way that person can also see a live update of how their model looks, how it's going. They can give me live, live feedback. Because the thing about art is that it shouldn't ever be gatekept, like period, full stop. I do not give a fuck if it, it makes business boom for you. Cause that's, that's not art. That's a goddamn scam. That's what that is like to jack up prices of something that people put their heart and soul into isn't fair at all because what people what if somebody doesn't have the ability to do it like i can't draw model art i can't my hands are too shaky i can't do it but i can rig that art i know what it's supposed to look like um so i would love to do that would be fun i love watching rigging awesome then i'll definitely do it when i get a pc that can support um both live 2d cubism and obs studio at the same time because that's the problem here maybe i'll make like an uh a less intensive live 2d art model too that's just like kind of silly looking um with very minimal abilities just like a chibi ramses or something um 
Speaking of which, uh, can we... All right. Can we normalize making less intensive models as an option? Like, okay, listen here. Uh, models, they're not as like intensive as people think they are, like Live 2D. I've done both Vroid Studio models, like 3D models, and I've done 2D models. 2D models run so much better than 3D. Just saying, like, uh, out of all the things I've done, my model right now is running the best that it, it has a delay on it, but that's because I'm using a webcam tracker. Um, but Live 2D is so much more intensive on your PC than, uh, I mean, 3D models are so much more intensive on your PC than 2D models. But even Live 2D can still be very intensive on your PC depending on what you have going on. So I feel like we need to normalize um, having less intensive versions of models. Like when I uh, do full rigging, I do plan on having like a chibi option. I actually have my uh, my commission page up, but I have to actually share it. But I'm going to do that after my raffle because I do have a live 2D raffle going on. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, but uh i do plan on doing uh when i rig models to have part of the model be um be kind of like um all right i gotta retry this uh being like normal full rig full body rig and then just cutting the rig in half <laughs> As weird as that sounds, um, but that way, uh, less intensive PCs can still run the model, you know? Um, Because, like, also, uh, VTubing should not be gatekept by how much money you spent on your PC, you know what I mean? Um, so I do plan, when I do rigging, to just kind of cut the model down right above the hips, so, like, right below the hips, everything below that is just gone. So that way the meshes aren't as intensive for people. Um, so they would have one version of the model where it's like full body, full rig, everything like that. And then another version of the model that's like essentially stomach down. <laughs> so that way they have like half the meshes to, to for their computer to rig. I feel like that should be more normalized as well, but you know, a, 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 a mummy can dream, right? Cause it would literally take no effort Okay, I gotta try that again. <laughs> and I love cutesy chibi models as well. I think they're really cute. I would love a cutesy chibi model for myself on days when I feel like doing something like um, rigging. But God damn, can I not draw? <sighs> How I wish I had an artistic, uh, an artistic art bone in my body, like a drawing bone, but I don't. I legitimately cannot draw. And it's not like a, oh, my drawing's ugly. No, I mean, my hands are so shaky. I legitimately cannot draw. You'll be my drawing friend. Oh, that's a that's so sweet. Fuck, fuck me. Um, I don't care about the model that much, to be honest. I follow people that don't even have a model. I'm here for personality of the people that I'm interacting with. I agree. I think that's nice. Um, I just think that people who have a model are more likely to draw attention from new people. Um, like I noticed my numbers started spiking when my model released. Um, my numbers have never been higher since my model came out because now people have like a, a more uh f of a face to like associate with my personality and people are drawn to that and that's okay like 
some people like that, and that's great. I'm really happy about that. Um, but if models are going to be integral, like live 2D models are going to be integral to VTubing, then we should make them accessible. Can I? God, this, this, this is so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's just business. I agree. Um, it is literally brand name. Uh, people will be able to see this model and be like, oh, it's, it's Ramses, Crypt Ramses. And it's like, yeah, exactly. And that's very cool and very nice. But at the same time, it makes you go, um... So new Ramses is kind of hot, but you will always be a little big head. <laughs> One day I'll do like a throwback Thursday, right? And you guys will be like, oh my god, I forgot about this fucking model. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be incredible. You guys will be like, oh my gosh, I forgot about the chibi Ramses model. <laughs> Can I? Ah, uh, <laughs> this one's difficult. Ooh, a sandwich. Why am I being gifted a sandwich? Why have I been blessed with Sam? I'm gonna put sandwich over here. That's a ham sandwich. Sandwich goes over there now. But no, I'm glad you guys like the design of the model. I love it. <laughs> it's very nice. It's very unique. Um. I feel like um, people are scared to get super experimental with their model designs, and it's kind of sad. Um, obviously, there are some gorgeous models out there, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I just, like, uh, am sitting there looking at all the people there, and I'm like, there's so many people who look almost exactly the same. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, the same is sometimes good. But at the same time, I'm like, I kind of wish people got more risky with it. Like, not like risque, but risky. Like more, they took more risks with it. Um. Into the hole. I'm going to keep doing this. Oh, did I do it? <gasps> oh, uh, can I make a guest appearance for this level? It's one of my favorite ones because there's cool stuff you could do to save time. Sure, you want to do it? Come on over. <laughs> Come on over, Manager Leon. I'll let you do it now that I've finished it. Come here. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to talk into the mic, though. Just stand a little ways back so that my web my webcam tracker doesn't take you off. Don't return to Waddle D down. <laughs> you wanna say hi to chat? No. <laughs> you being shy? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> All right, all right, Leon, let's see what you got. I hate... 
<laughs> you just don't do the level. <laughs> this is like Celeste speedrunning. Oh no, pinball. You're out of practice. <laughs> I know you haven't played this game in a year. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Just avoids playing the level. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Chakram Cutter. <laughs> they are. <laughs> All right, hold up. I'm I'm adjusting my. Uh, um, you can do that level in 15 seconds when gold time is you know 30. When it comes to my own model, it's fine, but I wanted to give it more of a professional or imposing look, but finding cyber-themed clothes on booth for male models is like trying to find a shiny Mew in Pokemon. Yeah, honestly, I can see that. I can understand that. Um, that's fair. I can't blame you. It's very difficult. Oh. Fuck, okay, I'm gonna try again. Hold on. I gotta figure out how this works. Give me a second. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand now. I understand now. There it goes. Oh god. There it goes. I don't know if I made it, but... to have a symbol model our raffle to get the base i think so i think that'd be really cool hey if you chat nibus if you do a model art raffle i will do i will volunteer to do free rigging for whoever wins because i need to expand my rigging portfolio anyway just as a whole so you know um I kind of feel like the VTube system is bent towards horny dudes, so lots of half-naked resources and cute silly models. I agree. <laughs> I agree. See, for me, it makes sense for my aesthetic, because my aesthetic is, well, comedic, and to be quite frank, desert. So, wearing less clothes is kind of part of the shtick, but if you see, like, my whole body model, like, it's not very revealing. You get the chest and that's about it. Um, and feet. But that that was just... Bare feet is kind of also a thing in Kemet, ancient Egypt, so... Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's a lot of, like... It, it appeals to the, like, kind of uh, horny niche very, very loudly. Um, which is a shame because... Uh, I'm sitting over here like, uh, no. Uh, 
not a very loud lewd tuber. I make lewd jokes, but I'm not a lewd tuber. I just make lewd jokes because I think they're funny. <laughs> I don't know. You don't have tit physics, so it doesn't count. <laughs> uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Look, man, sex joke can be funny. Sex joke is funny. <laughs> he, he sex funny. <laughs> I'm just a silly little guy. I'm just a silly little guy without a shirt. That's all. Well, I technically actually have a shirt, but not really. Um. As with any comedy, just know your audience. I hope my audience isn't like horny, but also can laugh at sex jokes. Cause like, that's how I am. I'm not the horny type, but boy, do I find sex jokes funny. I'm spewing flaming hot Cheetos. Oh, I see. If I knew I could do that before, I would have. I didn't know I could do the flame dash with this one. I should have. But no, I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> I don't know if you get anything for hitting the target time at all. I think you just get a check mark and it's like, hey, you're doing good. I'm just going to casually die, that's okay. Oh! First time I've died this way. <laughs> Oh god, can I? Thank you.
Did I make it? No! Ah! Uh, no! I will get this, I swear. I swear I'll get this. Out of curiosity, did you take off the viewer count on your overlay? I did, actually. Uh, because one, it wouldn't update. And two, I found it healthier to not have it. Um, just in general. I don't know who asked that, but... Oh, it was Chattanoobus. But yeah, I did that on purpose. Hell yeah! <laughs> Look at that! Nobody needs numbers, I agree. Um, but yeah, thanks for asking. Um, I don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, no, it was just because... One, it wasn't updating, so it just wasn't working. And I figured I'd rather just like offload the lag. And then on top of that, I was just like, ah, it's not healthy for me to keep it on. I don't think. Are you fighting Wispy? I didn't need that, but I'll take it. Um, I bet Spike is going to be the hard one for this one. We've been looking for it all week. <gasps> oh, shit. I'm gonna retry this because I don't want to take the damage. I want to try and get no damage first try. Um, just because it'll make things easier if I do it uh, that way. So, you know. Maximum tomato! Alright, you saw that. This is kind of broken. Why does he have a beard? 
I'm not used to Wispy Wood's beard. Um, I'll let his tantrum finish real quick. There we go. <laughs> you can break them. Well, I didn't have to. <laughs> Noble Ranger Blueprint. Hell yeah. Clear without taking any damage. Nice. Destroy Tropic Woods Roots. I think fire would be best with that one. Excuse me. No, don't take me back. <laughs> I don't care <laughs> about the Waddle D town. The Ranger ability can now be evolved. Pay a visit to Waddle D's weapon shop. Wise Waddle D has arrived in town. He'll give you more tips on finding to find missing blueprints and a whole lot more. How do you do? They call me Wise Waddle D. After I landed here, I found this mysterious book. It lists the locations of undiscovered blueprints. It also collects high sports and tons of other info from all over the world. If you'd like to know more, I'd be happy to share. You haven't missed any blueprints for us thus far. If I read about a new blueprints for location, I'll help you find it. For pot flowers, you've helped 76 bloom during your adventure. Press L or R to guard to take less damage. Would you like to hear more? Nah. Um, well, I got a blueprint. Whoa, is that a noble ranger blueprint? I want to make that. Gimme, gimme. All right, let me get my tools ready. Then we'll get this evolution started. Nice. Thanks for waiting. The ranger ability can now be evolved into noble ranger. All right. Take care, chat Nubis. I didn't mean to set it. That hat is hilarious. <gasps> Holy fucking shit! <laughs> oh my god. That's intense. What the hell? <laughs> All right, let's go square up with Wispy then.
Ayo Carnival? Fontaine? Question mark? <laughs> Open up a new area. Hell yeah. I kind of want to look at this area. Wandaria? Makes me think of Wonderland X Showtime. It's the music right there. So many rides here. And then there's an ice area. And it looks like that's it. So two more worlds. Okay, so let's finish beating up Wispy Woods and then I'll call it for today, I think. And then I'll come back to play Kirby on like maybe Wednesday, I think. I think that'll be fun. Um, I was going to do Celeste, but I'm just not feeling Celeste this week. I'm too tired. <laughs> <laughs> I got too much shit I gotta do. I don't feel like doing the really hard levels of Celeste right now. I'll get to it. I promise. Um. <laughs> yeah, he really is a dog. All right. Yeah, send your roots out. Nice. Oh god, I keep... There we go. <laughs> I don't need to avoid taking damage at this point. Oh, did she? Oh, that's so awesome! I've seen- I've actually seen the model already, so I'm not too upset about it. <laughs> I've seen the, the chibi model. I wish I could pop in, but I am unable to see because otherwise everything will lag. So do give her my love for me, but I might just send you guys over there after I finish this last round with Wispy, um, which is clear without a copy ability. And that seems a little daunting. So we will see how well this goes. <laughs> but then again, I used to fight Wispy Woods with no copy ability because I used to play the original Kirby and... Um, I actually think I still own the original Kirby um, in cartridge form for the Game Boy. I think I still have it, but hell if I remember. <laughs> Yay, full health. But I think I'll send you guys over to her probably if I finish before she gets offline because I know she's been feeling unwell lately. Um, so we will have to see. But no, I'm glad that she finally debuted. That's that's awesome. Oh my god, I can <laughs> Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be.
Kirby getting fucking launched. God, can you stop putting the fence up? There we go. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right. So there we go. Let's be done. All right. So we have two worlds left, um, and only there would have only been three hours left in stream, but there was no first Kirby. T it's a natural tentacle. They're roots. They're roots. Um, but no, uh, we saved every you waddle D in the bay. So, uh, with all that being said, I think I will send you guys over to Strange, probably. Um, let me just make sure that she's still alive. Uh, she is. Okay, so let me hop over to my just chatting. Um... Let's see. All right, well, um, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream today. It was really cool seeing you all here today. Um, I'm going to send you guys over to Miss Strange because she's doing her model reveal. Um, and you guys can send her my love. Um, but with all that being said, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of wanting to fix my model up real quick. Uh, fix the physics and whatnot. Uh, but yeah. Um, so we're probably not going to stream tomorrow. But keep an eye out on my Twitter. Because I'll post my schedule there. Probably. Um, but with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Twitter for my model raffle. I'm doing free rigging services. So if you have a live 2D model or you're planning on getting a live 2d model uh then please enter because i would love to rig for you uh just to practice and whatnot so uh but with all that being said thank you guys so much for coming to the stream uh take care of yourselves and each other my shafties and i'll see you next time have a great rest of your day senefty